distant lands. In theory, this should be picking me up. Hello, viewers of live, viewers of VOD. I appreciate you being here. This is just a quick little introduction to introduce you to the stream. We're going to pretend that I speak English, okay? We're all just going to go with that. Uh, if you guys want to support the stream this direction over here we have some lovely emojis that you get to use the newest one is short shorts is it from stardew ba valley mayhaps perhaps i have an amazing artist who will uh draw some some short shorts for castian and for everybody in chat so if you sub not subscribe that's if you're a different thing if you subscribe that's free and we appreciate it. if you become a member you get access to this and we're working on new perks all of the funds from the youtube channel go into making a better stream. So I appreciate you guys being here. And also throughout the stream, you will see a raffle going on. I, I'm getting worried. <laughs> I think I'm picking up. Yeah, you'll see a raffle going on. And um, you can enter at any time halfway through, about an hour and a half through, we will do a giveaway. And then we will start the raffle back up so you can be earning points throughout the whole stream. So thank you guys for tuning in. And a special shout out and thank you to Cotton for the amazing fan art. We'll do a little seg section, segment, sectionment. Yes, um, in the middle of all of that, uh, in the middle of the, the stream. So stay tuned for that. Thank you guys so much. And let's roll already. I remember the streams. I remember the stream. <laughs> I'm coming back into the Discord. Welcome, everybody. We're live. I've screwed up our thing. Say hi to chat. Yeah. Chat, you screwed up our everybody. thing. I, I think hi, chat. chat. Hello. 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 <laughs> Hello. Hi. Oh, hey. Hola, buenas tardes. <laughs> so, we're gonna, everybody will have their, their names on screen. Well, this is episode three. I say we just jump into it. Jess, do you wanna catch us up on what they might have missed last time? Uh, sure, absolutely. Um, <laughs> excuse me, we just, we just discussed this about how I have to do the entire recap. <laughs> I can, but you don't want me to so, do it. <laughs> no, I really, I do not want you to do it. I will do it in general. Um, so basically, there was a big fire. Um, as you might have seen at the end of episode one, uh, the, uh, the, the, the astrologer's office uh, was on fire. So everybody went to, uh, to uh, check out what was happening. And uh, a few of us went in and uh, saw that there was actually somebody on fire. Um, the, uh, I think it was Rithalian put the fire out um, and then uh, noticed that uh, the person was still alive and it was the astrologer who had very dark skin with, uh, with very, very light patches in the shape of constellations. Uh, he also was, there were, there were a couple of other folks who were waiting to go in, um, which were a lovely gay couple who were very clearly emotionally intelligent and there to see what the stars had to say about their relationship. But we sort of put them off a little bit because our stuff is more important. So, <clears throat> you know, yeah. what am I going to say, right? Like, it's us, yeah. it's not Just it's remember, not... chat, stars aren't a replacement for red flags. <laughs> if you see them, <laughs> there's nothing you can do about them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is, that is, I suppose, true. Um, but yeah, um, so then, uh, so they, uh, the, the astrologer advised us to, uh, to head off to the tower. Um, just as uh, Rodrigo had in the first episode, as uh, Loretta had in the first episode. And so we all headed off to the tower, which was at the edge of town. Um, it was a very tall tower. It had a door. Uh, uh, the lock was picked. And uh, and then everybody went into the tower. And what did you guys find in the tower? Was it like a regular tower? It, it was a no. Plain. It was a <laughs> no. Open plane. No. Yeah. No. We all sound so depressed plane. about what it. Like, no, it was not a regular tower. <laughs> but, I mean, it was very much a we are in trouble. Like, did you guys learn your lesson? Yes. Are you no. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. But no. It, was, it was an open field where it was twilight, I feel like, or was it dusk? It was it was that in between and mm. uh, yeah. and then we met no one. You did, you met no one. And I feel like twilight and dusk are kind of the same thing. They're like a I can't remember which was which. 
I think they're the well. Twilight and Dusk are both the sort of like the the end of the, the sunset. Like English right, is in my first language. No, no, that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. No, it, it it is it is mine, and I still don't know. So you're good. No, like what's the <laughs> difference between dinner and supper? Get in the comments, chat. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Well, I think that's also like like UK versus like US versus Canada versus I don't know. I don't know that we're, we're, we're not here for etymology chat. Maybe you are. Maybe chat, you can talk about etymology all you'd like. But um, today we went into the tower and the tower was this weird um, twilight field of long grass with um, a whole bunch of uh, strange uh, humanoid creatures um, and uh, no one. Who who took on a few different shapes over the course of the second half of our of uh, of our episode, um, and uh, there was also of... the the lightning strike and the screaming. Forgot about that. Yes, that's right. Because you you ended up wanting to go to the tower because there there was some there was there was a whole mm. bunch of screaming, and you were like screaming. Let's go towards it, mm. and went. And then there were lightning strikes. And, and at the edge of the field, and then you went and you found the lightning strikes, and then you found no one, and no one was very mysterious indeed, and and uh, was at first a sort of bodiless humanoid with a cloak that looked like the sky, and then became a very damp-looking woman, um, and all of the creatures were also kind of damp, and then there was one creature, um, this humanoid uh, who looked fairly human with uh, red hair and bright blue eyes. Of, of indeterminate gender, uh, who said that they wanted to go home and wanted to leave. And then what did you all do with this creature that wanted to leave? We adopted them. Mm -hmm. You adopted them. them! Filled out some papers. <laughs> you filled out some papers and you brought them out of the tower, didn't you? Mm -hmm. We did. Yes. Wow! What a great choice that was, folks! I would like to point out that Castian did not do this. Castian was there <laughs> in spirit, but not complicit. Yeah, Castian found uh, one of the creatures who was very much like Castian. Yeah, and her she sister, was against I'm all sure. of this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <exactly. laughs> yeah, Castian just wanted to like attack everything, but Castian did not attack everything. Um, but the the crew decided to leave with this uh, with this humanoid creature with the red hair and the blue eyes. Um, because it seemed so desperate to leave. So uh, they left by the door that was still standing in the field, closed the door, the tower is now extra locked, and now everybody is outside of the tower with uh, with this this uh, humanoid creature in amongst your uh, in amongst your group. So the fact that you keep saying humanoid creature. I'll be mm -hmm. right back. Ollie is lost. He's nearly blind, and he is not sure where I'm at. So I'm going to go get him. Oh, oh okay. Yeah, you're saying humanoid, with the creature. humanoid creature and not our newly adopted child. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. Your newly adopted child, the humanoid you creature. Mm -hmm. How do we feed this thing? Um, Did, <laughs> um, Deary, do, do you have a name? That's a good are you asking the, are you asking the, the creature? Yeah, I turn to the, the humanoid creature and mm -hmm. ask its name. I don't. No. You don't. Do you know if you ever had a name, or you just forget your name? Maybe that's its. Maybe that's its name. I don't know. There was, you know, mm, no, that's right. We no did. One. We no one. Yeah. Right. And no one. And I don't know. I don't know. Is that your name? Who's on first? <laughs> <laughs> what What is our plan with this being? I. Well. As you watch the creature who looks human seems to get a little bit indistinct almost. And they, they look at Granny who's been speaking to them and said, I don't know. I don't know. Are you a murderer? What? Oh, I, I forgot those were questions we were asking. <laughs> yes, there were also there were, there right. were questions. <laughs> and this and and the and the humanoid continues to say, "I don't know. Are you a murderer? What's inside here? 
Why am I here? Why are you here? Why are you doing that? Why did you do that to me? Can we kill it? It's asking a lot of questions. Well, as, as it speaks, it begins to change. Its arms that were, they looked human, become longer and wider and more fungal. Lobe-like growths begin to sprout <clears throat> from their fingers and then their forearms and then their elbows and then their shoulders. And their face distorts. There's a, a, a ball of flesh that grows from the side of their face, eclipsing their right eye. Their left eye droops as another, as a, a spur of bone or it's not even bone, it's, it's, it's something hard but, but strange emerges just above its eyebrow. And this is a slow but inexorable process. And it continues to change over the course of about 15 seconds until it is a monster that looks like it's half mushroom, half human, all horrifying. And I would like y'all to roll initiative, please! Yay! Yay! I have a thing for this, I have a thing for this. Oh. Dice tower. Hey! Oh. Oh. I've always wanted a dice tower. I can send you one. I think my husband like 3D prints them. Ooh. Not like. Now I feel not, like, like I'm being adopted. Just, <laughs> <laughs> uh, just please don't don't turn into a giant horrifying hell beast of mushroomy awfulness, no and we'll be fine. Perfect. All right. Um, all right. Ugh, all right. So everybody still only got a nine. There. Hell yeah. There's a lot going on on my side of things. I have a really bad you got it, and I don't like that I beat most of you. <laughs> yeah, I have a plus three, and I got garbage on. I have here. I have advantage on initiative, and I rolled a one and a five. Oh no! <laughs> oh, <laughs> well, get him out of the way now. We'll get him out of the way now. I, get him out of the way. Yeah, now. Yeah. I gotta shake it off. Shake it off. Yeah. <laughs> Taylor Swift. Seven. Yeah. Hell yeah. Cost six. Plus two. At two dice? <laughs> yeah. Rebellion? Uh, S six. Six. Oh, man. Six Wait. for me as well. Did Why did it? It just. Oh, resume and counter. Okay. All right. Thanks, DD Beyond. Why did it do that? Seven and six. Did you okay. get above a 10? I got a 10. I got a 12. Yeah, Bowler <laughs> got a 12. I, I got a so much. <laughs> I have a rock. It's not just a rock. Well, it looks like this thing is going first. Oh, fuck. Oh, Imagine that. that. Oh, great. <laughs> great. I don't like it. All right. So what it is going to do, it's called the escapee on the screen, if anybody, if, if any of y'all mm -hmm. can, can see it. Mm -hmm. So the escapee is going to make two slam attacks. <laughs> So it is, uh, so it looks like it's within range of both Damien and Verthelion and Bulwark. <laughs> Damien, Verthelion, and Bulwark. Great. You know what? It's going to go after oh. Damien and Bulwark. Oh, nice. It looks at Bulwark and it sees this, <laughs> it sees a big chunk of metal and it's like, oh. and so. Fuck you. Did you say fuck you or did you say I hugged you? I hugged you. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I was like, man, what a character Whoa. shift for Bulwark. This is shifted. Yeah. I know. Man. Yeah. Like, no. um, I was like, does anybody hear the Terminator theme song? What is yeah. that? <laughs> mm. uh, so, uh, Bulwark, uh, that is going to be a 17 to hit. Oof. That misses. Oh. Whoa. Oh. Wow. 
Wow. Oh, yes, it does. I thought we were all surprised. Right. <laughs> Big Daddy over there. My God. 17 right. to hit. Iron Giant. Oh, yeah. It will work. And then it's going to, it's, it's, it's sort of, it, 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 it's, it's, it's a fungal fist slams against Bulwark's iron frame, expecting to punch straight through it. But it, it glances off it. And it, it looks in, in surprise and frustration. It, it was expecting to, to, to demolish this, this creature. And it's a little bit nervous because if this creature is, you know, can, can withstand such an enormous power of the, such the, the enormous power of its fist, what else will it do? So it decides to go after prey that seems a little bit perhaps <laughs> easier. So <laughs> Damien, I'm sorry. <laughs> Damien, it is going to try to slam you for uh, and uh, with a sixteen, which I believe will hit. That misses my body and comes back and hits me right in the heart, basically. <laughs> oh, uh, no. As oh, it no. Will definitely oh, hurt. Gosh. Yeah, it's uh, definitely gonna hurt. Nope, silvery barbs. Ooh. Oh, the best spell in the game. Oh, <laughs> oh, damn! All right, so what do those silvery barbs do to it? Uh, Silvery Barbs will go ahead and magically distract the triggering creature and turn its uh, uncertainty into encouragement for another creature. So essentially, uh, you roll again and take the lower roll, and then I get to give advantage to somebody uh, for their next turn. So I'm going to give advantage to Verthelion. Um, mm. And what this looks like is uh, my staff, the rock that's at the edge of it, I kind of twisted and it just glints for a second almost like obsidian in the sun uh, and that's just enough to kind of catch its eye and distract it for a bit while it mm -hmm. uh, goes to attack Damien hoping to miss okay holy so shit creature, thanks buddy this creature sees the silver out of the corner of its eye and thinking that it it, 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 it can't it can't figure out if this is a threat or if this is something that it needs it's been in this 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 dimension in this tower for so long that anything that's new is is either terrifying or attractive to it and it it cannot figure out so it is completely distracted and completely it it's it's just confused and and the light out here is just it, it's it, it's just completely it, it's out of its head so it rears its fist back and tries again to hit Damien. oh my god mm. And it and with a twelve, I believe it does not. It oh, misses. there you go. Yes. As it Woo. hits my chest, of <laughs> <laughs> the V neck on Damien is just. No. <laughs> it's just too beautiful. Yeah. It, it punches you. It, it punches you, and it hits the contract for your lease that's in your pocket. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Maybe it does. Does it hit the con? Does it hit the the boat lease contract? It does. Yeah, it definitely does. And there's like a little seal on there that's metal <laughs> that is protect right above Damien's heart. So with a mighty clang, it's this thing's fist glances off of Damien's deep V of his chest. <laughs> Beautiful springy little chest hairs sprouting from it like. <clears throat> spring shoots in a garden and the clang echoes musically across the sea as this thing fails to do any damage at all to Damien but right. rips half of the introduction page to his boat lease contract. <gasps> oh no! Oh, no! It's so, it is a lease. so it is a boat it's lease, a lease contract. <laughs> <laughs> and it looks. It, it it takes this half of a page and just sort of stares at it, but doesn't really understand what it means. And now it is Bulwark's turn. Ah, uh, Bulwark. Now's a really good time to say that it, Bulwark it read it is. For a bonus, bonus action. Anyway, go ahead. Bulwark is. <laughs> Bulwark is very good at taking hits. He's yes. not very good at hitting. <laughs> <laughs> He's so great at being a target. So it you have go. no idea. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Bulwark is going to go ahead and cast Shocking Grasp at him. Nice. Mm. It's one of the few attack spells I have. Hell yeah. That is an 18 to hit. Uh, 
It would hit, but this thing is immune to lightning damage. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh. It's not good at lightning. It doesn't <laughs> like lightning. It, it's fine with lightning. Uh, ooh, that's, well, that's, that's, that's what I got. I'm not going to move or anything because I want to kind of stay sort of in its face. So I am going to end my turn there. Okay. So it's, so you, you grasp it with a, with a, with a, with, with a, a metal hand that is, that is full of sparks and lightning. And it looks, it watches as you do it. And it just looks at you in confusion as as it 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 seems to to become even more indistinct as if its lines are a little bit blurred and it doesn't do anything it just stands and stares at you bulwark as if you're something that it's never seen before even if though it's been seeing you for the last five minutes completely incomprehending but it is not damaged i get that look a lot (laughs) (laughs) there all right granny let's see what you got all right granny is gonna take a few steps back (laughs) and she's gonna say you can't hurt my grandkids and i'm gonna use my bonus action to uh uh and my my five foot six little body seems to grow two feet. My limbs extend. My skin kind of stretches a little bit. My shadows from one turn into three. Dust starts to swirl around me and my hair unfurls, unwraps from its mermaid tail braid into a wild like veil that flows behind me. And my eyes go from like this blue to black color and they look like they start to cry a little bit. And I will use my bonus action to... Go into my form of dread. Ooh. Um, and I gain so some cool. temporary HP. And then I'm going to cast Eldritch Blast with my ah! action. <laughs> of course, you're going to catch Eldritch Blast. <laughs> and I will, uh, let's see what I get. Oh, okay. That is a 16 to hit. Uh, it, that will that will hit. Yes. Oh, cool. So I uh, hold out my staff and a bunch of dust shoots out with it and maybe there are some pieces of yarn in it as well. Um, and it does a total of six damage. Aww. Yeah. Um, and then I'm just gonna stand there in my new seven foot self with my teeny tiny staff still in my hand. <laughs> <laughs> and that's my turn. That's adorable. So it... Uh, so the, the the eldritch blast sort of like blasts into its uh, into like its left shoulder, and and it leaves a, a like a little little crater that seems to seethe with activity, with 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 it looks like snakes or worms or something that in this sort of dark red cavity that's opened up in this thing's shoulder, and it looks at it. And it looks at, oh, like all the way over at you, Granny, in some mild amount of pain and also still confusion. And it looks back at its shoulder and it looks at you and it just is agog at the fact that that just happened. And Harrison, it is your turn. Harrison, once again, doing the little bunny rabbit, heavy breathing, just rising and falling of the chest in... in panic as he's never really been in a fight he's like right um so we've decided we're we're doing this we're killing our child not child that's a mushroom buddy fuck it up (laughs) (laughs) right uh he's gonna start twirling his staff he's gonna hold it at the very end uh and twirl it up in the air and you can see around the meteorite uh or around the rock on his staff i should say uh little stars start to blink into existence uh, three of them, to be exact, as I cast Magic Missile. Uh, and once the three of them form and start kind of uh, orbiting around, I'm just going to chuck them and launch them all at our little mushroom friend here. Okay. And this is going to be... Oh, my God. Let's go. One more. I'm at 10 damage so far. Ooh, hell yeah. <clears throat> 15 damage altogether. Nice. As all three of them slam into it. Okay. So, 
So three magic missiles slam into this thing's body. One goes straight for the right side of its chest. One slams into its left thigh. Another one slams into where that crater was in its left hand, um, or its, its left shoulder, and just makes it bigger. And each of these start sort of to, to steam or smoke. And it, it staggers back. And it just looks around uncomprehendingly, just, just, just in, in, in more pain now and in confusion and, and starting to get a little bit angry and worried. It's, it's face that is, that, that's, you know, with, with one eye that's, that's, uh, obscured by a giant fleshy ball and then the other one that is drooped the eye that's drooped sort of looks up at you harrison and you almost feel like it narrows it's no longer blue it's this it's a it's a bright sickly green and it looks at you and it whispers are you a murderer <clears throat> in a voice Full of vines and fungal dust. In that case. And Castin, it's your turn. Well, actually. Oh. oh. He's going to well actually you. Wait a second. <laughs> well, actually. 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 <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and use a sorcery point. Ooh. Okay. To quicken spell, which will allow me to cast a spell as a bonus action. <laughs> and. <laughs> In in panic again, you just you just see Harrison lift the stick again and start twirling to create more stars. Uh, and I'm gonna I'm gonna hit him with another three. Wow! Okay, that's five damage again on one. It's only four, so five and three, eight. Uh, so only ten damage on that one. Wait, five wow. plus four plus two. It's eleven. It's eleven. Five five plus three plus two. Oh, okay. Ooh. Mm -hmm. All right. So those other stars slam into exactly where the previous ones did, just making those those craters in its body even bigger and even smokier. And and the the smoke smells awful. It smells like like rotten burning mushroom. And it it sort of gets into all of your lungs because it smokes. And, and this thing staggers back again. And it's it's sort of almost staggering back against the wall of the tower now. It's 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 kind of cornered. And it just it 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 takes its its right hand like appendage and puts it over its left shoulder as if to try to stanch the bleeding. But it's not bleeding. It's oozing that a sickly green substance, the same color as its eye. And it's thick, and it's awful, and it smells even worse than the smoke coming from its wounds does. And now, Castian, your turn. <laughs> okay, so is it still trying to attack everybody, or is it trying, as escapee, is it trying to leave? It's not trying to escape. I mean, it's not its turn anyway. But no, it's not trying to escape. It's just the escapee from the internal, from the inside of the tower. That's okay. why the escapee. That's why it's the escapee. Being completely out of her league, Cassian <laughs> is going to back away from the smoke a bit more and be like, you guys, you look like you're doing great. You got this. The star thing was awesome. I keep that up. Backing away, backing away. And that's Cassian's turn. <laughs> Cast, Cast, where are you going? <laughs> the we're, all inspired. Way. we're all inspired by your cowardice. <laughs> <laughs> that's, I'm sorry, that's well a weird done, way to Kastian. say will to live. <laughs> <laughs> Survival yeah. instinct. Getting shamed over here. <laughs> Amazing. Okay, so Castian's going to run away, run away. Brave Sir Robin uh, ran away. <laughs> 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 All right, Damien. All right. Uh, as Damien sees his friends just fighting in a frenzy and, and watching Castian back up very quickly and then slowly. Bravely. Right, backing up very bravely. Just, yeah, yeah. And just, <laughs> just very interested in what's happening over there, too. Uh, Damien is going to go ahead and whip out his rapier. And I am just going to 
run at this thing um, and try to stab it with my rapier here. Uh, hey. Let's see. Hit on dun, 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 an 11 to hit. That will not hit, unfortunately. I'm sorry, Damien. All right, and as he goes and goes, ah, ooh, it's not going to go anywhere. All right, and uh, he's going to just go ahead and uh, back up a little bit after that to get out of the smoke here, too, as quickly as he can. Uh, let's see. Hey. One, what is it, 20 feet back here, 30 feet. Boom. All right. He is backing his ass up real quick. Guys, I, you... I tried my best. I hate to be this person. I'm so sorry, Damien. I know. I know what you're gonna say. <laughs> yeah. Do you yeah. do you provoke opportunity attack by doing that, or do you have a skill that lets you avoid it? Oh no no no! I assume it's an opportunity attack. Yeah. yeah. It sure is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I love you so much. I'm sorry. <laughs> Perfectly fine. Uh, sixteen to hit. Uh, that'll go ahead and hit. Uh, and, uh, well, no, no, well, shoot, no, I'm, wait, I'm out of no, spell no, no, slots. No, no. It's it. all good. Uh, Don't you worry. If you're going to hit me, I'm going to hellish rebuke you with a reaction then nice. um, on that. I was prepared just in case the the little rapier didn't work. Uh, it's uh, good. Have to make a, you have to make a deck save of 13 on that. And on a failed save, you take half as much damage. Uh, eight. So... Oops. Oh, nice. Perfect. All right. Damien's going to look at the creature and snap his fingers and go, ha ha ha! Hi, you fell right into my trap! And I'm going to go also to try to take that uh, little lease back, too, as I'm casting this, too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to roll my damage. Uh, 22 on the LSU. Whoa! Good lord! Like, L-O-R-D-T. Wow, okay. So, uh, that, that definitely hurts, um, but I, but I do need you, what should, what should you roll to, to, That's to take back that lease contract? <laughs> um, should I make you roll acrobatics or should I make you just roll dex, just straight dexterity? Ooh, um, I'm going to make you just roll dexterity. It could roll be just a sleight of hand. A sleight of hand, you know what? Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Slide a hand on that to see if your boy can pick up his papers. That's uh, an 11. Mm, nope. Sorry. You, re you you grab at it, and it just, the, the smoke just gets in your eyes just a little bit too much, and you just, but you do do 22 damage. Hell yeah. Wow. And then, so this thing has, you basically, you, 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 you take its, its left hand clean off. Ooh. And this green ooze gouts from the wound, and it gives a great cry of this fungal smoke and this fungal dust as the hand or the um the the, the well the the hand that is now mushroomy falls to the ground and disintegrates into more of that dusty smoke oh. Damien, I was hoping for grilled mushrooms on We're that We're not one. eating the mushroom. <laughs> no. no. I would highly recommend you not eat these mushrooms. These are not edible. These are, these are like, the, yeah, just don't, just don't. Speaking so of well, it, anything it. is edible. Once. <laughs> once. Any mushroom is edible once. Yeah. Yeah, treat, yeah, like, yeah. treat this like a death cap. Do not consume. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so, all right. Um. Uh, so I suppose uh, it is uh, Vrithelion's turn. And don't forget you've got the advantage from earlier. Yes, thank you. Mm -hmm. So I, I I look at this fungus and you see me like scrape my sword across the front of the shield and it glows. <laughs> and my eyes light up. And I walk in to be between it and Harrison. Thank you. <laughs> and I, I will swing a sword while also invoking divine smite. So let's uh, let's see how awesome that is, or if I miss. But you know we've got advantage, so. Oh, there yeah. you go. Famous so... last word. I know. <laughs> um, I'll take a, a dirty twenty. Nice. Yes, that will one hundred percent hit. Yes. Okay. And then, uh, hold on, so that's, uh, okay, hold on, so we're at base of six, 
Uh, slashing damage, plus I will be instituting 2d8 of radiant damage. <laughs> Paladins, man. Uh, uh, Alright, so, looks like uh, 11 points total. Okay, and how much of that is radiant damage? It's, uh, five of it. So, then, so we're gonna double the radiant damage, because this thing hates the light. Oh, this oh. hates the light, so it's going to be 16 total points. You damage. see if Rathalian grin <laughs> as he <laughs> sees the radiant damage take hold. Yeah, so it's the, the so that the sword plunges into into the the left side or sorry the right side of this thing's chest, and Rathalian pulls it out, and it leaves a crater of glowing of, of like a it's like a, a crater that that looks like it glows from within and it burns across this thing's shoulder it burns down its arm it burns almost down to its waist it burns a furrow into this thing's fungalized flesh and the thing it's 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 right lung is collapsed so it can barely get out the tiny little screech as it lurches back against the tower half collapsed against the tower and it is bloodied it is not it's not on its last legs but it is it's not feeling happy right now it's not doing very well it should probably see a doctor <laughs> yeah. or take some Advil but now it is its turn. So, let's see. Rathalian, it is confused by you because it does not know how the light is inside it. So it wants to get rid of you as soon as possible. It's one visible sickly green eye looks up at you and you can feel the anger and the fear emanating from this thing. And it does its best to make two slam attacks against you. So one number one is one is sixteen to hit. Slam it with the, the shield. Is, yep. Is this the other is a seven. <laughs> slam it as I'm coming back yeah. with the shield. <laughs> <laughs> It does not hit you. <laughs> this thing ain't doing so good. This this is not a, this is not a skilled monster, I suppose. <laughs> so it it um it it takes its it takes its 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 right fist of mushroom and it kind of tries to slam it into you and it just cannot it just can't make the distance. It, it slams just the dirt in front of you. And then, desperately, it takes its other arm, its handless arm that is still oozing green, thick, viscous fluid, and attempts to do the same thing, but it, too, lands in the dust. And the fluid seeps into the dirt as it, as it, as it staggers back to its feet and sways, dazed, at all of you. And we'll work it as your turn. Guys, I'm starting to feel a little bad about this. <laughs> <laughs> I like that we took it out of its home to murder it, though. You know, at least there's that. <laughs> it attacked us first. <laughs> it did. It did. It did. This is, this is did. defense. This is entirely yeah. defensive. Harrison looks at Vertelian and Granny's like, oh, are we the bad guys? Are we <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about as my hair flows <laughs> in the <wind>? <laughs> <laughs> I love, I love that, like the granny. I love that so much. I'll just, all, right. all right, I'll step up just to be sort of side by side with Thelian. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think seeing that your radiant damage did more, I'm going to sort of point my little tiny hammer sort of in this direction <laughs> and cast uh, Sacred Flame. Ooh, nice. So it'll need to make a dexterity saving throw of... 
12. <laughs> I got 11. Oh, oh no! I got 11. Oh, there's four. I hate oh, you, yeah. Dice Tower. Dice Tower, you <laughs> suck. You've been rolling terribly all day. Yeah, I don't think I need one of those, actually, now that I think about yeah. it. <laughs> yeah, you can keep it. Uh, it is six damage. Six radiant okay. damage. That will become 12. Yay! Ooh. And the... And the, so the sacred flame, which is quite small, meets its chest and goes foomp as flames do when they are fed. And it gouts and singes this thing's face. And as the flame dies down, you can see the, the smoldering, the, the, the eye that is, that's, that's obscured, that seems to be leaking like a clear viscous fluid. And the other one just looks pained. I'm not feeling any better about this. <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't say that that this would be a happy battle. It's just a battle. You guys have to decide what your what your ethical, like, you know, like what we have to find our joy. You have yeah. to find your joy where you can find it. Yes, if this thing does not spark joy, please feel free to dispatch it from your lives. <laughs> oh no. Good. That's all, <laughs> all right. Uh, Bulwark, is there anything else you need to do, or is it that's, Granny's turn? That's it for me. All right, Granny, you're on deck. I'm going to just stay where I am, and it doesn't look like I'm doing anything, and then one of my shadows, you see a hand reach out, and uh, the shadow on the right reaches out, and I fire Eldritch Blast again. <laughs> Yay! Oh, that's Woo! a 19. Uh, and... I will hit. Woo! And this time, a bunch of just uh, stray pieces of hair like as the shadow moves rip out of my head and go flying towards it um for a total of 10 points of damage wow hair damage hair damage mm -hmm. <laughs> i can't say type. that it's it is the worst type yeah because then you have to like get like conditioner and all the mm -hmm. things yeah it's a, whole, totally. it's a whole big problem i'm sure that granny understands um but those those little strands of hair act like 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 uh like like needles that get stuck in this thing's flesh as if it's had the worst acupuncture ever and so you've got like a couple of needles sort of sticking out of each of its thighs mm. as the eldritch blast makes that crater in its chest ever bigger very good <laughs> <laughs> i was gonna say daniel hearing this and then going mm. it was <laughs> <laughs> mm. good mm. <laughs> Acceptable. <laughs> All right, Harrison. Tis me. Tis you. Um, first I'm gonna go ahead and use my bonus action to replenish one of my spell slots, mm -hmm. uh, and I am now out of sorcery points. Um, you doing that? We just want to get extra ones of those. Do you just like buy them at the store? Or? There's a sorcery market. Sorcery point market. <laughs> but, you know. Uh, there's a there's even a little punch card I have to it's all uh, and you can get it on source free. dash <laughs> source dash oh no <laughs> sorry uh, I'm gonna cast I think I'm gonna cast shatter on it Ooh. nice yeah um I'm gonna go ahead and uh, and raise my my staff up again over my head and. I'm gonna toss what looks like a little black ink blot at it, um, but it acts almost like a black hole, and it just shatters kind of the space around it, and then implodes on itself to cause this thunderous damage. And it does a saving throw, I believe. You have a Constitution saving throw, 13 to save. You still take half damage on uh, on failed. Okay, so so shatter though is a. Is, is a 10 foot radius it's an aoe so it's anybody else in that radius let's have a look i am gonna toss it behind it so it hits oh. it right up the edge of it Ooh. Ooh. distance Good one. that's this is why maps are important <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this is why i made a map for today yes yep. hell yeah okay so so let's see uh so it did save uh okay. with an 18. 
And all right, you're still going to take some damage, mate. Don't know why I'm British all of a sudden. <laughs> Where is my second level? Uh, and that's thunder damage. So, dang, ten. So you take half five. Five thunder damage. Okay. Well, it still gets a little like a. Yeah. Well, thunder and lightning are two different damages, I believe. So. Yeah. They are. Mm -hmm. So it gets. Yeah. So, it uh, it it believes, like it 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 hears the thunder and it thinks, oh, I'm I'm safe because you know mm. I, because lightning can't hurt me, and then the sound itself shatters its eardrums. This and poor thing. Out of each of its ears, <laughs> there pours a black, sticky liquid. You mean spores? Just, uh, you know, it, it could be spores. Mm. But it's 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 like a like a really gross black sticky stuff that sort of trickles down at the sides of its if its its malformed face. And it just looks at you, Harrison. It just looks at you. With that one green eye. Castian, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm backing away a little oh my God. bit more. <laughs> <laughs> you're running out of map. <laughs> I know. She's about then to you're go gonna down fall these in stairs a thing. over here. Yeah, right. Like the two stairs and then just a drop. <laughs> Castian's noping the fuck out. Um, and then you know, I'm not the type for battle battle is not we're not great friends battle and I and as fun as murder sounds he has got a handles and then I back away and that's my turn Jess is gonna kill me <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not this is your game you decide what you want to do and how coward how how cowardly you want to be <laughs> brave strategic placements yeah, they're a tactician, okay? <laughs> strategic, <laughs> a strategic retreat. Exactly. Yeah. Repositioning. I'm going around the world, and then I'll I'll sneak attack from the back. Oh. Mm -hmm. You're playing the long <laughs> game. The long game. <laughs> <laughs> the extremely long game. <laughs> that will take more than a very long campaign. It's like three years later, Castian's like, where is it? Where is it? And it's like... Anyway. All right, so Castian, you have been tactical. Damien... You're on deck. Damien looks at uh, Kath. Are you going for like, is there a sword or something you're going for over there? Why are you running away? There, <laughs> I'm, I'm moving and there might be, you don't know. Did you check over here for a sword? No, but I have this. And he pulls out a dagger and he's just going to chuck it at the uh, monster uh, from where he is safely as well. Uh, he's <laughs> safely not as well. <laughs> this is how you do it, okay? <laughs> Just being judgy. Yeah. <laughs> and let's see. Oh, well, you know, it's an eight to hit, so I'm guessing that dagger goes right behind it. That dagger whizzes past its ear through which it can't hear anymore because it's got black sticky stuff coming out of it and springs in the stone of the uh, of the tower just between two stones. Nice. And see, this is how I would have done it. I'm going to... I have another dagger I'll throw here in a minute when I find it as well, but you know, it's okay. Um, and I'm going to use a bonus action to give uh, Vertelian uh, Bardic Inspiration <laughs> since he knows he's up next Ooh. here. Uh, Vertelian, uh, if you can get my dagger, that would be amazing. And you're the best, buddy. You're doing good out there. You feel yeah, like I heard that you're the best and didn't pay attention to the dagger line. <laughs> <laughs> Bulwark is looking for the dagger. <laughs> Toss it back over here, guys. All right, All right that's my turn. Dolly. Amazing. You lose your dagger, but you gain a, you gain a friendship. A friendship. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe the mm -hmm. dagger was the friends we made along the way. There we go. Or maybe the friends were the people who were murdering along the way. Uh, <laughs> maybe the friends say. were the dagger we chucked along the way. Along the way. <laughs> who knows? <laughs> uh, so, Vitalian. All right. So, remind me of Bardic Inspiration. Uh, add a 1d6 to a uh, attack roll, ability check, or a saving throw of your choice. Oh, right. For oh, ten it will. Together. It will be the attack. So my sword is still glowing. And I swing again. OK. 
Okay. Let's see here. No advantage. Uh, okay, well, this is... Oof. Hold on. I haven't add added that. that D6. Add that D6 yeah. there, oh, buddy. Oh, man. <laughs> There is, uh, all right. roll. there is nothing wrong. You can roll on a d6 that would make that hit. I am sorry, my friend. Well, I had to roll the d6 to make uh, Damien feel, feel well, good. You, that well, is okay. true. You could have held on to it. It's okay, <laughs> but that's all right. No, I... I'll give uh, you you know. never know. You never know. So, yeah, yeah. um... Uh, okay, so uh, I didn't hit, so the, the glow stays. It doesn't expend off of the sword. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Um, and I dig my feet in. Harrison would notice that I lower the shield a little. Mm -hmm. Right, I'm basically just making myself a wall. (laughs) (laughs) And I and I narrow my eyes again at this fungus beast. Guy's not a fun guy. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, me, I'm right. There's not much room for anything else. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we're not taking any shiitake from this guy. Uh, Bye, guys. I'm leaving. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this was a fun campaign. No, I'm joking. I'm That's weird. Leaving. Everyone I'm watching just left. What happened? <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah, Amazing. so yeah, I end, my t- I end my turn. Okay. With some excellent mushroom puns. Amazing. All right, so it is now... This, whoop. are y'all still there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, sorry. Something just went really quiet. Oh. I was a little bit worried. Oh. I don't know. Maybe, maybe the thing is in the room with me right now. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> so, it is now this thing's turn, <laughs> and this thing, this thing, is 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 not doing great, but it's still alive, and it is now mad. It is not happy. And it is going to chase after Granny. What? Why? I would like to. I would like to. I would like to swing it as it goes by. I also. Go ahead. You guys both get to do that. I would also. You pick the wrong one to fuck with. Everybody gets fist. <laughs> oh no, you don't. <laughs> Not out, uh, Granny. Uh, Bulwark, you want to go first? Yeah, I rolled a fifteen to hit. Yeah, that will hit. Ooh, get ready for this big yeah. damage, guys. Yeah. <laughs> it's, 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 oh no! Three. <laughs> <laughs> it goes. Boink. All right, I, I've rolled that a seventeen. Will also hit. <laughs> Let's see that sword do a little bit more than three damage. <laughs> that uh, yeah. Uh, so hold tight. Um, can, you, can you do divine smite on an opportunity attack? It says when you hit with a melee weapon attack, Whoa. you can expend a spell slot to do it, and I will. Oh. Nice. All right. So let's see. So, so um, da, 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 da. all right. So just the slashing damage. Mm-hmm is uh 11 mm-hmm. which is maximum i can't do any more than that wow. <laughs> and then um the uh radiant damage 15 oh Jeez. wow Woo. and as soon as it hits you see it go and it it goes off as i cannot do that anymore <laughs> mm. <laughs> well my friend how would you like to do this oh. because the radiant damage is doubled because it hates the light and you have just smitten it i just turn and look at it and go not granny <laughs> and the sword the radiant sword smites it clean in two as its its, uh, hair prickled legs continue to pump for a split second as it tries to run towards Granny but the top half of it just falls to the ground and the light in that sickly green eye goes out and then something very strange happens 
as it dies, it disintegrates. A glimmering, visible to the eye, but also beyond the eye. It's visible to the soul. Like motes of dust, the glimmers swirl and they scatter on the currents of the wind and the sea-swept air that come in from the ocean that you can see just beyond you. These motes come from this creature. It's as if it has collapsed into dust and these glimmers ride the currents of the air that grow and swish and swirl in the wind. Do you want plagues? As because this is how we get plagues, guys. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we can't hear you from that far away. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. You do not hear Castian's warning. <laughs> and so like dust, these little glimmers settle into the cracks and the crevices of everything. The smallest spaces, nearly invisible, nearly forgotten spaces in everything you can see. Bulwark. The glimmers swirl and settle into the tiniest cracks in your metal. They find the flame within you, but they do not burn. They join it. They join that flame. They become a part of it. And your flame changes color subtly. Not, not quite color, but sheen. It takes on a sheen. It shines like a lighthouse, like a warning. And now, the burn inside you, now you burn like a fever. Rithalian. These glimmers in this dust, they swirl and swarm into the torn and broken part of you. They find the sickness in your body that mirrors the primal wound in the deepest part of your soul. They settle into the grooves of your skin, into the cracks in your heart. Tiny and painless, they shine into your eyes and they slip behind them on a slick of tear water. Your eyes, which are gray as the winter sky, change color, not a color, but they take on a sheen. They take on a glimmer like a soap bubble about to pop, like a gout of oil on the surface of polluted water. And you begin to cough as if there's something stuck in your lungs. And there is, but coughing will not dislodge it. Oh, that's my hell. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Harrison. The glimmers swarm and burrow into your ears. They crawl into your fur like ticks and they latch on as if they're ticks. They glitter like the stars that are so dear to you. But these are not constellations. These are not the prophets of the heavens whose guidance has sustained you and comforted you through your journey away from home. These have a different purpose entirely. And they, like you, are determined. Your fur changes color, not color, but a sheen. It glimmers sickly, as if dipped in oil. Granny. The glimmers drift on the ocean currents and they find you. They whirl and crawl into the fissures in your elephantine hide. They seek out the part of you that is missing and they surround it. They ride the swirling air into the heart of your broken stuff and they settle there. You see them with your eyes and with your soul, and for a moment, a wild hope comes to you. Could this be a message from those you've lost? Could these be the souls of your sisters come finally to find you? But no. No, they feel wrong. And your hide, weathered and beautiful, takes on a sheen, a sick, otherworldly glow. The glimmers whirl on the spray from the waves, from the boats, and they find you, Damien. They gather by your mouth and they find their way between your lips and your teeth. They settle in your long black hair like stars in the night sky, in configurations that are so wrong they set Harrison's teeth on edge when he sees them. 
They hesitate for a moment with you. Faint as a distant whisper on the wind, you hear, Are you only one? Is there only one of you? You could not, however, respond even if you wished to. And your hair takes on a sheen, a strange and horrid glow like the sky just before a tornado rips a town apart, like the hellish morning light before a storm. And Castian. Before, can I, do I see this all happening real quick? <laughs> You're too far away to see any of this happening. Sorry. <laughs> oh no! I don't see any of the spores or anything coming my way. They're just little glimmers. They're just little glimmers. You don't see anybody changing. You're too far away. I'm trying to figure out if they the glimmers come... would be enough to freak me out. Can you just des describe the glimmers a little bit? As they're coming towards casting, what what do I see? Basically, it's as if. You know, like in a, in, a, in a room where there's where there's a sunbeam, and then there's little motes of dust that dance in the sunbeam, like just little glimmers of, of of stuff in the air. That's what it looks like. It doesn't look scary. It doesn't look disturbing, even particularly. It's just it looks as if this this thing, this mushroom creature, has just turned to dust, and the dust is is sort of pearlescent or, or like made of tiny little diamonds, and those glimmers just kind of get picked up by the currents in the air so and I, they come to each of you. I do see this thing go down. I'm, f I'm f able enough to see it disintegrate. Yeah, you can see it disintegrate. Okay, yes. I would like to start going <laughs> <laughs> to the dust. Okay. And if that doesn't work, I take my, my staff, I swing at it. When I swing at it, I accidentally cast protection from good and evil upon myself whether that'll work or not but that's what she cast okay because so. she does see it comes from it if it was just dust no but if she saw it disintegrate and now yeah. there's weird dust no nah, i ain't fucking with that yeah. yeah she would she would be able to she would identify i mean she's not necessarily the most intelligent but she would associate the dust she would the see the dust that with died. the thing that yeah <laughs> she would see the dust with the thing that just disintegrated and she would and yes, and so she's going, and <laughs> and swinging this, the swinging her her big stick, and casting protection from good and evil, and it does sweet f all. That's what I figured. Go ahead. The dust just goes All into right. your mouth. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Every time you inhale. Yeah. <laughs> and so, 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 the thing about this dust is that when it sees you. Well, when it sees you, when it when it when it reaches you, Castian, it doesn't just drift. It starts to swarm. <laughs> it swarms towards you, <laughs> and you are trying desperately to blow it away. And in the in the intake of breath between blowing it, it gets into your mouth, and it sets itself between your teeth, and it and it pours down your throat in a bright torrent. <laughs> it tangles in your hair. It, finds its way into your ears and into your eyes, between your fingers as you lift them to shake it out, as you swing your staff to desperately try to, to stave this thing off. It gets into the folds of your clothes. It finds your short shorts and gets between you Not and your clothes. Not the pelvis. short shorts! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, go on. It does, it gets, it gets, <laughs> it, it gets all over your short shorts. This, this is, your short shorts are like glowing. They're like, you know, those like really sparkly shorts that they had like in like 2003, that that's what they look like now. Sorry. Hell yeah. Um, nice. And you, Castian, as this thing works its, works its way through you and into you, all of you, every part of you, every cell of your body, every piece of your soul, it all takes on a sheen that sparkly, well, not, not even so sparkly, it's like this pearlescent sheen. Like the broken oyster shells that you saw in White Sand dropped by hawks to shatter them, to plunder the soft innards. Big hawk will do that. eat them. Big <laughs> hawk will do that. And now, now I would like each of you to roll a d6, please. Ooh. Mm. Uh-oh. Ambiguous. 
the best rolls. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. You don't know if you want to be high or low on this. Yeah, I'm scared, honestly. Well, we're going to find out because I rolled a six. Uh, I rolled Five. a one. There's our, our there's our uh, our baseline. Oh yeah, I'll let you guys know if I die. Wow, I only like to roll what Damien rolls in initiative <laughs> and everything else. <laughs> Blood brothers, and we don't even know it. Yeah, we don't even know it. Okay, so Harrison, you rolled a one. What did everybody else roll? Remind me. Five. Uh, no, okay, I rolled casting. a six. Five. Oh right. Okay. I rolled a one, Damien. Please so tell me I. we all got and like one right. through six. There's that'd be dope. Three players, six players so. of us. I, Granny got okay. a two. Ooh. Me two. All right, and uh, Vithalian, what'd you get? Uh, one as well. Oh, so one. close. One. I know. And who are you missing? Four for Bulwark. Uh, Bulwark. Four for Bulwark. Oh, so each so so there is so so yeah we have a one a two no we nobody got a three okay yeah it's a good spread though yeah. what we, were we needed a one okay there's also one all the cool kids rolled one Hell yeah. <laughs> it's gonna oh, it's man. gonna kill us first we're yeah. definitely dying <laughs> Damien you have a persistent minus one to your constitution oh Ooh. cool <gasps> no so wait you Brithalian. <laughs> mm. Wait, me as well? Rithalian, yes. Anybody who oh, rolled a win. Oh, that's the worst thing ever. I'm already at an eight. How dare oh, you? Sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, I did. I did. Granny, yes. you have a persistent minus one to your dex. Your dex oh, area. that's good. Now down to a seven. Great. <laughs> Great. Awesome. Uh, Bulwark. Hello. You have a persistent minus one to your wisdom. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> yes. I'm sorry, but you do. Nice. Castian. You. You have a persistent minus one to your charisma. No! My only thing keeping me alive! I'm sorry! I'm sorry, I made you guys feel like crap! And Harrison, you have a persistent minus one to your intelligent why do you hate me <laughs> <laughs> i don't i don't your die hates you i i sure I every dm says that yeah yeah yeah, yeah. we believe yeah. you <laughs> if we all I rolled a three you. we would have your like a plus eight you. Yeah. <laughs> yes so Man. at least oh. it was my charisma as a sorcerer that, that would have been crippling yeah the, the three hit points i just lost no bueno. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh my god, did you lose that many from that? Well, yeah, because I went from an 8 to a 7, so I went from a minus 1 modifier to a minus 2, so I lost a hit Ooh. point per level. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, yeah. my god, we need to get some... Which is fine. You. I'm sickly. So <laughs> it, it really What's fits. Yeah, I'm, I'm oh, yeah. sicklier. more sicklier. So... All of you feel really, really awful in different ways. <laughs> and all of you have this really strange pearlescent sheen to parts of you, or, in Castian's case, to all of you. Combat is over. You're all by the tower. This thing is gone. But this thing has left you all little gifts, shall we say. Or... Maybe not gifts, but something. It's left you something. And all of you are thinking about how awful you feel as you see a figure running towards you along the path to the tower. And as that figure comes closer, I'm not using the map right, by the way. Like we can we can just cut out the map. This is this is theater of mine for the next couple minutes. There is no, there's no token for this person. <laughs> I was like, where's this fucking person coming from? Yeah, where are they coming yeah. from? <laughs> they're coming from the, from the tower, like the, because remember the the tower has like the like beyond it, there's just kind of like a little mini little dirt path, but the but mm -hmm. the, the path from town. And the person coming towards you as as they come into view is Loretta, <gasps> the bartender, mm -hmm. and she comes rushing up to all of you. And she, she just sort of looks at you all and says, what happened? What happened here? What, what, what is all this? We fucked we, up. We <laughs> Don't breathe it in, it's dangerous. Yeah. 
Oh, you gotta be trying a little to more specific. Uh, there was a what, mushroom what, what person, and, and we tried to help them, but, um... <clears throat> help? Little, little, Where was little, the little help? Little puff of glitter. <laughs> well, it attacked. And it then it, it attacked. Yeah. yeah, it attacked us first as Granny's figure goes from a 7'7 seven seven demon creature down to her sweet little 5'5 five five Your self. bones crack when you oh, do that? Oh, yes, she didn't do that before. Uh, no, it, it lasts a minute. So. Right, right. Oh. Of course. So, so Loretta, so Loretta looks at looks at Granny and and, <laughs> and doesn't actually seem particularly surprised or disturbed. Like as you know, she's a bartender; she's seen it all. So she's a a, a, a <laughs> mushroom person. A mu a mushroom. Can you? I, I, you know, I describe this thing, please, please. I, mushroom I, I, person came from inside the tower. Yeah. A mushroom person came from inside the, inside that tower. Mm -hmm. That and one right there. And attacked us. Yes. And it it said it wanted to go home. Which was weird cuz it just wanted to come outside of the tower. Talk about <laughs> indecisive. And then yeah. <laughs> realized it didn't remember why it was out here. It's like off more into the ground. <laughs> Let it out, buddy. I'm just rubbing your back. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't seem to get any better. <laughs> yeah, but thank you. Poor Bertholli. I'm sorry, Bertholli. You're just uh, gonna. I, I, I'm sorry. It's my brand. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> and so she's gonna. She's gonna look at all of you, and and she's, and 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 she's gonna. She's gonna sort of look, like look at your fur, Harrison, and she, and she's gonna look at your hair, Damien, and she's gonna sort of look all the way over it. At uh, my at, personality, at, at your personality. She's gonna look directly your at your person. personality, Castion, <laughs> and at your skin, Granny. And she's gonna say, "Why, why are y'all glowing?" Mm, what? That's the mushroom. Uh, I, a fragrance of mushroom person. It's corpse. I, I don't. I, you know. I don't. I don't understand. That. That's just. There's. Mm, we're there's wearing a dead person. Does that help? <laughs> Even on your short shorts. Even on my. Your dead short person shorts. on your short shorts. I didn't put the dead person on the short shorts. The dead person put the sh the dead person on shorts. I told mm. you to be careful with those things. And I'm or wearing them sort of... wonderfully. <laughs> you are. Yeah. I'll, I'll give you that. <laughs> and and she's. And she's just flummoxed. She's just like, so you went into the tower. Did you see? Did you see anyone in there? With the, was, did, you no. went up well, the actually, stairs. We saw right? no one in there, and they were not useful to us. So they were up the stairs, right? There were what stairs. Stairs, what stairs, and you went. <laughs> what do you mean, <laughs> what stairs? You there's a the plane tower? in there. What there's the stairs. No, there's, there's an what? entire there's an entire plane of existence. It's an open field. It's literally <laughs> and, planes. Um, there were no stairs what? in that tower. Yeah, right. and, and there was the lightning strike and... And screaming. I the screaming. <laughs> Very important. And this Harrison one refused really... to make that contact with you, Granny. <laughs> this one really loud, annoying girl. Ridiculous. Oh, is that how you'd... Loretta <laughs> is about is to say something and... Castian? Decides not to be mean. <laughs> that's, right. that's not the. Uh, Everyone the holds <laughs> their tongue. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the Loretta sort of looks at everybody and, and just sort of everybody looks at each other and. The silent but, but mom. she's. Yeah. But but, but but what? Wait, a plane, a plane like 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 a not like a like like grass. Like yeah. grass in the tower, but well, it, actually both, like a like a plane of existence and a plane of grass. Yes, well, and that's mountains. Mountains. Yeah. Right. The, was it mountains? Mountains. I think so. Was there mountains? I don't Maybe think there was mountains. No. I don't think there was any mountains. Going there was no there. mountains. There was no ocean. Um, no, it was just plain to the. To it was just plains. All the way to the horizon, and there was um, uh, it was twilight the entire time. But it's daytime. I, You're just you know, repeating back what we are telling you, uh, Loretta. This isn't helpful right now. It's crazy in there, okay? I, Lots I, of I, shit went down. We're fucked up now. 
Why right, are now. there <laughs> ten <laughs> locks on that door? <laughs> Did you push, put ten locks on that door? Did well, you actually, what? there was one lock. No and, one put um, the other nine. Right, when we were escorted. Yes. <laughs> Fair. I want to know okay. why why we were directed to this death trap. <laughs> it, it it wasn't a it wasn't supposed to be a death trap. There's there's stairs in there, and there's there's somebody upstairs, and they were supposed to help you. I'm not sure what kind of stairs you think you would find in a plane that is flat with twilight, but there was no such thing. Loretta, I dare say that you and Rodrigo might be what is the term? Pulling our legs. I I, I mm. promised you I ain't. There that tower has stairs. If there was something else in there, I have no idea and and that is that is that is absolutely terrifying. And and what if it has to do with that with with that that pearly stuff on all y'all? I'm I you know, I, I'm 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 really sorry. I I if I had known that there was that somebody put something in there that wasn't supposed to be there, I would never I would never have sent you all in there. I what what is wrong with all y'all? Why are you Granny's just up waiting to <laughs> Granny's like <laughs> Can I make an insight check on Loretta? Yeah, I like oh. to make an insight on her too, actually. Yeah. I'm suddenly That's... worse at those, so I'll... Yeah. yeah. Yeah, suddenly like, worse. I'm, I'm, I'm too busy keeping lungs in my body. Yeah. That is, is a, very scared. That is a 14. I got a 19 for mine. You believe that she is telling the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. She had no idea that there was anything in there other than stairs. That is what you believe. Well... <laughs> You know, I, I, I don't, I don't know what to tell you. I, I mean, I mean, it's pretty. You know, you, you, you cough. You, you know, Vrithelian, You, your eyes are mighty nice now. But I mean, they were nice before. Don't, don't get me wrong. But, but I, flattery. I, I don't get you nowhere. <laughs> I, I, I don't, I don't like this. I don't what? like this. I, I can. I don't want to go in there because I'm I'm afraid of what I'm going to find, but I think we need to figure out what, what what's happened to all y'all because this ain't right. This ain't is right. there an, is there anyone we might be able to talk to? We we know you didn't mean to do this to us. It just seems we come kind of stumbled into a magical anomaly. I I, I dare say you, you you seem to be right, but but I mean, there's the astrologer. You know he, he you know. The astrologer might know. He might know. He, he, he's in. He's in his space. Yeah, I think I those, guess. those, those arguing guys are gone. Yes. I think. Well, if if, if the astrologer know to know, we could, we could at the very least um, consult the stars. Remember, oh, sure. we did have the dreams about the stars. Oh, absolutely. I mean, yeah, absolutely. The stars might know. The astrologer might be able to help you talk to the stars, but, I, you know, if if I knew. If I if I knew how to help you, I I, I would help y'all. But I, I don't I don't know why that's in there. That's never been in there. It's never supposed to be in there. I don't. There's there was grass. There was grass in there. That's just not. That's that just ain't right. Well, it was twilight and it's day. I the, you know Loretta, what? Loretta, I'll my bestie. And I go up and I pat her on the shoulder. You're worthless to us. And then I walk <laughs> off towards the <laughs> astrologer. <laughs> Damien's right behind Castine as well. He's incredibly, incredibly frustrated and scared right now. If you look at him, you will see worry in his eyes as he was told something by these creatures um, and is going to storm past Soretta. Thanks so much for your help. You're amazing. Just kidding. Castine, wait up. I'm coming. <laughs> <laughs> Loretta sort of looked around saying, Well well that was rude. <laughs> I didn't I, I, I have we... fun. <laughs> I, I I sure didn't mean to cause any trouble. I I just I don't I don't know. I mean should I should I follow them? Should I go with um, Leo? I mean L Loretta, uh, who was it that um told you to tell us to do any of this. How'd you know? What was your... 
Well, any any time people come come to town, they usually want to talk to somebody because they usually got somewhere to go, and sometimes they don't know where to go. And usually, you know, the tower. There's always somebody in the tower. Sometimes it's somebody different, but there's always somebody in the tower to tell them where to go or give them some guidance or, you know, and sometimes they like the stars, so I send them to the astrologer, and sometimes they just really, they're in a hurry, so I send them to the to the tower, and usually, you know, usually they, they walk out and they got some insight and they, they're happy, they come have a drink and then head off to wherever they're going, but this is the first time I've ever seen this. I never, mm. I, I, I never heard of, of some plane in, inside a, inside the tower and where it's, where it's not time, mm. and there's a there's somebody and there's people and there's 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 there, I, I just it, it ain't right. There's something wrong here and I don't like it. Loretta, I don't like it at all. In the past, has there always been a lock, at least one on the outside of the door? I think so. But usually uh, there's, you know, there's there's a there's a key taped to it next to it. <sighs> there was no key. Oh, yes, no. Do, I would not I would not recommend <laughs> directing anyone to that tower. Oh, you bet your biffy I ain't never sending anybody anybody ever to that tower. Next time I'm gonna tell them to go to, down to the next town over. Uh, that we we ain't got nothing for anybody. They want to. They want to get their stars read. I'll send them to the astrologer. Other than that, I ain't got nothing for nobody. I got some drinks. I got some chat. I got some water, maybe if I can keep it clean. And other than that, I ain't got nothing for nobody. Sorry. Um. I'm, I. I'm. I. I sure am sorry about this. It's okay. You didn't mean it, Loretta. But I will say we should probably catch up to our friends if so we can all go to talk to the astrologer <laughs> together. Um, I mean, I, I'll come with you if you don't mind. But yeah, you know, please. I under, you can... I understand. Uh, Damien's turning on. back, and unless she's telling you how to unfuck us, we need to go this way, guys. We're coming. Come on, dearies, let's I, go. I motion for Granny, <laughs> and I stand up. And as Granny leaned on me earlier, I now lean on her. <laughs> oh, dearie, let's go. <laughs> and and Loretta's just gonna sort of mutter to herself. One day they'll learn. Ain't no one fucking. <laughs> but that's where we're gonna take a little break <laughs> all right guys if you want to be given extra points over the break we'll have a five minute break because my stream bot seems to be screwing up i will give 50 points to anybody who types within the next five minutes in chat so all you have to do to get the 50 points is do that and we will do a loyalty giveaway which means those of you who have been watching the stream the longest and those of you with the most points, because the extra point boost will get that. We will be right back. Where's my break scene? 50 points to Gryffindor.
here for a second so in theory it should work look at this look at this we're figuring out how streams work. i'm a little blurry but it's working all right so for my people who were in chat let me give out another 50 points i know my people can't hear me over here but at, you know what you guys get 100 points you chilled around here yeah 100 points okay so what we're going to do is i am going to take our top people oh exactly oliver exactly oliver i'm going to take our top three people and i'm going to roll a D, D dice to give it away so normally guys our giveaway is working pretty well but for some reason Streamlabs decides to be wonky today and so i do not have access to the giveaway raffle thing so what i'm going to do is just take our people that have been watching every by the way, we do this all the time with the loyalty side of things. So if you're wanting to enter, one of the best ways to, to win is to just be here on stream with us. And we will do these, uh, these giveaways. You get points every, as long as you type in the chat so that it doesn't think, you know, you've, you've gone, uh, gone missing. As long as you type in the chat, I believe it's every five or ten minutes. It will continuously give you points throughout things. So we are going to, I got my D4 here. We're going to take our top four viewers that haven't won. So we have a Lucy. You are going to be one on the D4. We have uh, John Mc... I can't, I can't pronounce that. I also don't want to dox you guys if you have a last name here. Uh, John, you're going to be two. Uh, Dagger, you're going to be three. And Evan Kelly is going to be four. And I, I wish I could, like, show my die roll on stream, but I'm not sure how to do that. But I just promise not to cheat, you guys. It is a four! So, our winner for today is Evan! Evan, if you want to claim your crit die, which was the thing, you can see it on screen, whoop, over there. It ships to anywhere from Canada. All you have to do is message Jess. And let me get... Uh, let me get back over to our D&D &D stuff. It was 587. Hello! Hi. Hello! Hey. Our winner, by the way, oh. was Evan Kelly. Hey. Congrats, Evan. Evan Kelly. So, Congrats. Jess, <clears throat> for Evan, if Evan wants to, to get a hold of that die, how would they be how would how best to contact you how best to think the things how to talk the how talk best to and think the walk the, the walk how to think the thing you <laughs> yes. just email uh, jessica at stormgrow.com and i will get your your address and send it to you and um if you are still waiting for your dice um from previous giveaways um please understand that i will be sending them out this thursday or friday um i have just been completely insanely busy and also traveling so Woo! i apologize that's why i'm in a different space here than i was the last time but i will i promise i promise you will get your dice um and it will be fun and it will get to you and it will be really awesome and they are delightful yay give me one second ollie's also lost but you guys can evan verthelian will cough on someone in your honor <laughs> oh my gosh <laughs> <laughs> and i will rabbit kick somebody else in your honor ah perfect Damien's I not will... going to do anything for you. No. <laughs> Damien will finally buy a boat in your honor. Yeah. <laughs> he'll co-sign. He'll co-sign co a boat with yeah, you. <laughs> there you go, yeah. yeah there you go. I love Legally it. binding, no taxi backs. Yeah. He's not yep. kidding. <laughs> Legally binding. <laughs> Legally binding in Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah. <laughs> is a thing in the in the D&D laws of, of yeah. the, the ocean in the game that I get to decide are actually real or not real because as the DM, I have that legal power. That's, That's pretty right. great. That's why I decided to be a DM. Instead of going to law school, I'm just like a D&D DM. It's fine. It's the same, Fair. same thing, loving, basically. I'm loving this little soliloquy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it just keeps, just keeps going. It just Dig, keeps getting worse. Digging deeper and deeper. <laughs> Before she's doing. <laughs> jump back in, uh, my, my person running tech, I'm going to message you. Stream is being really weird, and it's showing it crashed, and... I see people in chat. It's saying there's not people in chat. It's saying there's not. So we'll see what's going on over here. Something's off. Um, but I'm going to take care of that. As long as we're live, if you guys will type in chat that we're at least still live, it may be glitchy as hell. We'll figure out what's going on. Um, 
But yeah, I can't I see chat while I'm DMing. So no, you're I fine. I'm, it, I'm waiting. I'm just <laughs> mainly talking okay. to chat so that I know we are still live because mm -hmm. it's saying a, it's it's acting frozen. I'm, yeah, I'm still seeing They're chat messages come up. So yeah. Okay. Am I frozen well, on a weird face? <laughs> I will deal with this on my side. We can jump back I'm into sure. it. Mm -hmm. um, Harrison is on Damien and Castian's uh, tail. <laughs> like I'm just, yeah, I'm, you just hear the little hopping uh, as I try to catch up. Normally he just bipedal walks, but you know, I'm, I'm, you guys got ahead of me, so. All right, so, so, so you're all kind of heading towards. Uh, the astrologer's space um, with, uh, I guess, Granny and um, Rithalian and, uh, and and Loretta and Bulwark bringing up the rear, mm -hmm. kind of. And Loretta is just, she's just beside herself. She just does not know what's happened. And she feels bad. I mean, she, and she's also a little concerned about what this is going to do for business at the cliff's edge. <laughs> Because you know she does, she does not like unhappy customers. And you know, if you send somebody into a tower that's not really a tower, that's actually a different place, and people come out and they're coughing and they look weird and they've got like a weird shiny bits and they they just feel like crap, then they're not going to write a very good review. Mm. Mm. Damien, Castian, uh, customers are pretty unhappy customers. <laughs> Damien to Castian as we're like walking swiftly. Yeah, we're definitely, definitely leaving a bad review. I am going to send so many letters from my boat <laughs> out there. That the lady fucked least? us. Well, why do you keep oh, bringing you it up like back. that? You didn't get that back that last half of the lease. It, it kind of turned into dust with, with that thing. Oh my god, I just fucking remembered oh i forgot my <laughs> fucking dagger as well oh, oh my god i forgot my dagger i forgot are the you gonna run back lease. for your dagger oh i can't like i cast in we're gonna have to find me a new dagger i can't i'm already mad i have to keep walking this way if i go back i'm gonna have to talk to loretta again we're just i'm just gonna leave the dagger i, I don't care enough about it i'm i i proud I, of you i just <laughs> <laughs> right. Um you you could have my dagger. I don't ah! Oh my god, Jesus that. Christ, where were you? I <laughs> I'm I'm just a little guy. Oh <laughs> Holy shit, man, you scared me. Alright. Uh, I mean I'll take your dagger, buddy, if you don't mind. <laughs> That'd be cool. I'll pay you for it too, you know. I don't wanna just you know I don't No, no, it's fine. Look, listen, at the end of the day, like, You've helped me, I've helped <laughs> no, we're you. Still we're, walking we're walking forward. and talking. And yeah. so I'm like, yeah, you're gonna have two daggers because I, I really don't need them. Oh, okay. Thanks, buddy. I'll take both of the daggers as we're God, rushing again, forward. Again, just call me Harrison. You don't have to keep calling me Bunny as I get ahead I of said you. buddy. Buddy. B-U-D-D-Y. That's my alibi. <laughs> and I'm walking forward still. <laughs> How did Harrison catch up with us? We were we left early, didn't we? You guys stayed in. Or did Harrison, did you come after the inve before the investigation? Uh, I followed right after you guys left, but also I've got uh, Rabbit Hop, which bonus action, I can jump 10 feet. I mean, listen, I've got speed. Okay, okay I figured. I was <laughs> trying, I'm just trying I'm to mentally up. get where people are good. at. No. I, I, yeah. like, I, I essentially dashed and used all my speed to like run okay, to okay. catch up to you guys. Yeah. Yeah, so I assume it's just you. It's me, you, and Harrison in the front, and then uh, Loretta, um, Granny, Vithelian and Bulwark kind of, I guess, all clumped together, I'm assuming? Are you guys walking yeah. in a different way? Yeah, yeah. yeah. We're, we're, we're walking the same way. And, and okay. Loretta's actually going to encourage everybody to, to, to hurry up. She's going to say, you know, I, I, I think I think we should probably get there around the same time as them, because I, honestly, I'm a, I'm a little concerned what they might say. I, <laughs> I think I think they don't seem so happy. And, and I totally understand. I totally get it. I, I think... I think I, I should probably we, we should all probably go and and, and and show up together so that the uh, so the astrologer doesn't doesn't think you know he can be a little touchy sometimes if if he thinks that somebody's mad at him he just kind of shuts down it's just one I mean, of those oh, things but she's old he's dying and I'm made of metal we can't go very fast I'm already moving at the speed of light <laughs> <laughs> well, I understand. Uh, 
Let me, let me think. She's gonna, she's gonna call up to everybody else. Hey, hey, all y'all. Do you mind waiting for us? I, I think it's better if we all go together. I think, I think it's, it's a good idea. You, you shouldn't show up before us. I think you're going to have to handle the astrologer in a particular way about this particular thing. Is Cassian my estimation. did not listen to shit and continues on in the lead. Damien <laughs> screams, can't hear traitors! <laughs> <laughs> and just keeps walking forward. Alright, let's <laughs> let's speed it up, folks. Let's go. Alright. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yes. You guys put it into double time and it's just like a little bit faster. Now's not a good time for me to say what my walking speed is. <laughs> oh no. Mm. All right, Sounds well, like we're gonna beat you guys there. Oh no. So Loretta is gonna is gonna run. She's just gonna sort of just gonna gonna speed and I'm, I'm gonna wish... Do I hear her running? Do I notice her running? Uh please make me a perception check. Oh. Okay. That's a four, so a total of nine. You do, uh, you think you might hear something, but you're you're a little distracted by your shiny short shorts, and she just runs right past you. Oh, but son of a bitch! You, I'm you... running after. Okay. Oh my god! Yeah, pirate, she's yeah. running. Yeah. Yeah, you guys, you guys are sort of now at like the edge of town, and it, it it's about another you know ten minute walk out to the to the astrologers. Uh, to Can I try to like trip her? Shop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's a good sure. idea. Can I chuck things at her? My other shoe. You would... I want to chuck my other shoe at her. Uh, no, you you had no shoes, remember? You got one back, so it's just the one shoe you've got now. No, she. So the big hawk had my second pair. Uh, well, my first oh, pair, and then I'm wearing right. the second that's pair. Right. And then it dropped okay. my first one. Yeah. So, so I which still have a... three shoes. Would which you like to chuck shoes? at Loretta? I would never shoe? had a. PC keep track of their shoe count. <laughs> <laughs> There's a first time for everything. Hell this is yeah. Dungeons and Dragons and shoes and throwing. <laughs> shoes are too important. I'll chuck my staff. Mm. Okay. Great uh, prioritization there, <laughs> Castian. <laughs> um, all right. Please make this me an athletic point. I, I, I point out that my uh, intelligence is eight. Uh, athletics. Okay. <laughs> I was almost 19. It's a natural one. Oh my god. <laughs> Go ahead, the Jessica. The staff like... <laughs> Does it just break? <laughs> <laughs> oh no. The staff is gonna like boomerang back and like hit you in the nose. <laughs> you like when you throw a log, take... it just spins. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're gonna take two points of bludgeoning damage. Oh no. Seeing Castian fucking fail. <laughs> oh no, I'm sorry, Castian. <laughs> no, you're fine. Damien is gonna cast command on Loretta. Uh, wisdom save of 13 and say halt. Uh, she oh, that. Now nice. you cast the spells! You, I didn't know what you were doing, to be completely honest. I was you're, you're confused. HALT! Loretta! And he's just gonna keep pushing forward even faster. Uh, and just, I'm just gonna book it now. Towards the... Okay. Uh, the halt lasts for, uh... The creature doesn't move and takes no actions. Uh... uh a duration right, Loretta, of one just... round. Yeah. So I don't know what that is. Uh... I don't know, I guess uh, Loretta just sort of... Stops about uh you know uh, 40 feet in front of you and just sort of yeah. just freezes in place i suppose one round let's say like until you until you reach her okay that's fair i'm booking yeah. it all right <laughs> just booking. all right you're gonna and you're gonna okay so so you run past her push her over sort of, <laughs> you're gonna push her over Okay, she, fall, she, she, she falls. I'm just she kidding. I don't over. push her over. <laughs> you can if you want. That's you know, you, if you, you if you choose to behave in that manner, no, you no, may no, no. push She's over just... this nice young woman. Damien's just gonna run past her and go traitor. <laughs> and <just keep> traitor. <laughs> <laughs> with Castian and I assume Harrison's jumping very quickly behind us too, or with us. Uh, it's hopping. So. Hopping. Yeah. Excuse me. You're right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So. Yeah. I think we need time gonna... dilate to get to the door. Yeah. Yeah. I think basically what we're gonna do is is uh you all you all eventually make it to the astrologer's office. 
Loretta is going to... Loretta is... Loretta tries to get there before Castian and Damien, but Castian and Damien, you have about 20 seconds before Loretta reaches that uh, that office, before before she gets there, where you can do what you like. So go, what, what are you doing? What are you doing before you have supervision? Damien, ahead, you're- <laughs> are you letting me go first? Oh, you want me to do it? I'll, I'll I was do gonna it, say, you're technically right. a little bit ahead of me, so you can go oh, first. okay. Okay, okay. <laughs> Opens, kicks open the fucking door. <laughs> You son of a bitch! Okay. You better tell us how to fucking fix this right now! Yeah! Is he there? <laughs> or did I just scream that into the room and he's not actually there yet? <laughs> so, the room is empty. Oh, nice. But, after you scream, there's a little trap door in the floor that opens. And a woman comes up from the trap door. The woman st has dark, dark, dark skin with dapples of constellations across that skin, uh, including a, a little dapple across her nose. Uh, she has very, very short, very curly, very bright white hair. And uh, she's quite large in stature um, and very round in figure. And her face is it's not beautiful, it's not unattractive, it is It is entirely nondescript, and it is ageless. You have no idea how old this woman is. And she sort of pokes her head up and, and hoists her body up out of what is quite a large sort of door in the floor. And she looks at you, Castian, and she says, I really, really appreciate your help in molting. It's not always a very pleasant process, but but you really helped, so thank you. I'm gonna walk up and smack her in the face with my staff. <laughs> the staff that just smacked you in the face? Yeah, it seems to be good at that. <laughs> okay, um... I've discovered its purpose. It's a face smacking stick. It's like a talking stick, but for smacking. <laughs> She's gonna try to sort of swat it away. Like, she's got pretty fast reflex. She's gonna sort of swat the staff away as you as you try to smack her in the face. But it still sort of glances off of one of her cheeks. And, uh, and, and you can see, like, there's, like, a little bit of a, of an impact there. And she looks at you and she says, You know, I appreciate that you're upset. I, I can't tell you that I understand why, but... I would really appreciate not not having any of this violence in, in my sacred space. Damien, get she... your knife. <laughs> and with that, Loretta enters the room. Son of a bitch. She says, <laughs> the supervision <laughs> arrived. <laughs> she says, all right, y'all. I understand that you're upset, but we do not do that here. Damien, get I two knives. Damien. Damien has his daggers ready. <laughs> at the ready here. Damien. What? You don't want this to be a fight. I promise you. She's not going to attack you. We need she's answers. We need answers. I understand. She, I, I, she's your best chance for answers in this town, anyway. Because if you, you know, if you hurt her, I don't think you're good. You know what's happening to you. I, I don't. I ain't never seen it before, but I don't think it's good, and I don't think you can fix it by yourself. So, if I were you, I would not do that to this lady person here. That's coming from the lady that sent us to the guy that sent us to the tower where now our soul is infested. So I don't trust you. In fact, I have half a mind to give back my short shorts, but I won't. Because I'm already wearing them, and that would be weird to walk around with no pants. And the the astrologer looks and says, "Well, I mean, you did assist me in removing my encumbrance, so if you need assistance in that direction, I'm sure I can probably help you." What do you mean by encumbrance? If I said the word correctly, you did, and. 
I am only speaking of the shorts that are encasing your buttocks and other areas around your buttocks currently. They're, they're actually they're so. <laughs> what are we doing oh. here? <laughs> oh, what's everyone doing in here? Hello. <laughs> oh. All right, the rest. Everybody's everybody's here now, right? Yeah. So. What? I would hope Fix so. Us. The astrologer. Here, the right? astrologer Fix is gonna, us. Help. The astrologer realizes what she's what what she's been looking at, at uh, with the short shorts, and she says, "Those aren't supposed to be that that color sheen spangly, are they? They're not supposed to look like that. They didn't I look like got, that when you got dead them. people on them." <gasps> Well, technically, you only got one dead person. I got it's, it's Harrison is correct. I got dead person on them. Mm. Mushrooms, oh, no. to be exact. Yes. Mushrooms. Also, where's Where's the gentleman astrologer that was here before? Oh, he's me. I'm him. We 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 exchange sometimes. It's 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 a molting process. I'm, you you witnessed it, no? With the with sure. the fire and the and yeah. Yeah, it, it just, it sometimes happens. We, sometimes I get, I get weary of this and I choose to be different and then, but regardless, that's, that's neither here nor there. You found a mushroom person and now you, your eyes, your hair, you, rude young lady, you're, <laughs> all, all of you, you're, this, where did, where, what mushroom person? Where have you been? I yes, turned well, to Damien. Um, uh, I don't think it's it's kind of her to call Granny rude. Rude? Is, I mean, she's young, but like, <laughs> <all her laughs> rude, she's insanely. Yeah, I totally agree with you. Honestly, that is really fucked up. Not okay. Knife her. Knife her. <laughs> I, I can't uh, kill I, somebody that might help us. All right, you don't have to kill her. her. Just like take a knife to like. I don't know her shin or her calf or something. I can something. hear I... you, rude young lady. Granny's talking to Granny not like talking. That. <laughs> <laughs> I see this one likes to speak, so she can finish speaking, and then if you'd like me to She'll never help you. Speaking. <laughs> <laughs> it's only episode three and Harrison knows her so well. <laughs> um, wait, um, you said you know... So, we went to the tower, and then it was like, we walked into the door, and then it was like, a, there were planes everywhere, a and there was a field. a field. Yes, and then there were, uh, there were there not no mountains. No stairs. Yeah, there, there were not, not mountains, but there was lightning and screaming. And there was, there was, uh, right, there was the, um, the person with no face, no one, and there was the little spirits, um, what else? Uh, and no, then what you saw, bulwark, bulwark, excuse me. I mean, it it, was... The, the astrologer's face, like, like, like Loretta's face as she listened to you, the astrologer's face is, is, has sort of an expression of dawning horror. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay, oh. I know, I know. Sorry, I scared yeah, him. Like, His leg like, got stuck. Oh. Oh. And he was That's like, okay. I can't it's see. Like... My leg's stuck. I'm like, it's okay. I've got you. I'm the one who uh. has you. <laughs> so the, the the astrologer's face, the dawning horror of, of that of her face is like as if that sound is echoing in her brain. Because that is how she feels about <laughs> all of this information. She is... Yeah, she... she, Or at least that's what, that her, that's what her face shows. And Loretta and... is sort of looks at her and says... Yeah, they, they, they said they said that tower weren't towered, that tower didn't have stairs, it had a, a grass, just a grassy plain, and there was twilight, and there was a there there were there were spirits, and then something came out and and then it it, it just it, it it caused this. After we killed. And after after. Because yes, it attacked after, us. It attacked mm -hmm. you, yeah. Yeah. So it attacked you and you killed it, and then and she's gonna uh turn to the astrologer and say, yeah. Yeah, so they are, they, they had a thing and it came out of the tower because they took it out of the tower and 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 it and and then it, it got destroyed and then it turned it, it, it turned to dust and then now they now they're like that and they don't feel so good. And the astrologer ast Astrologer, don't yeah. forget that we also had the dream about the stars and everything. So what 
what is happening? What are the stars trying to tell us? So the astrologer is going to look at you, Harrison, and and say, you, you, you're telling me that you went into the tower and you found there was a, there was a place. There was there was a place. Did it have a sky? A uh, twilight sky uh, felt like a demi plane. Um, mm -hmm. Lots of field spirits. Um, person named no one that could shape into other people and I look at everybody else am I missing anything what did the stars look like what were the stars were, th were there stars inside they were wrong they were wrong what? how wrong what what wrong what do you mean wrong they weren't our stars they were a different stars what kind yes of stars? the constellations I believe no one made them different <laughs> Bless you. Bless you, Bulwark. Bless you. Thank you. Sorry. Just, yeah, <laughs> I, I feel like weird. just sneeze like a little goat like flame yeah. whenever he sneezes. Yeah. That's really cute. Oh my gosh, I love Bulwark so much. Anyway. Um, there was a face in the stars that I recognized that talked to me before we went in, as in I saw a vision that I needed to go in the tower. So that was in the stars. Tell me about this. What, what face? Did you recognize it? What kind of... What... What... What happened there? Bulwark hugged someone. Correct, mm -hmm. Bulwark? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and then, then it... The face? The face... Daniel is having trouble remembering exactly <laughs> what the face said. <laughs> That's okay. It's okay. Uh, the granny can also... She can have a senior moment. It's okay. <laughs> I don't remember Sorry. in this moment. Don't elephants right. remember everything? Hey, let's not remember that fact about elephants. <laughs> <laughs> Granny doesn't remember that fact about herself. Uh, no, it's okay. A loxodon, not yeah, that's what I was going to say. Granny's a loxodon. They're, They're different. They're different. <laughs> to remember. They're cousins. <laughs> um, Loosely related. So, so Loretta's going to sort of look around and say so i told them that if anybody here could help it was probably you because honestly i i don't i don't think anybody else is anybody else here has you know nobody else has books nobody else has has the kind of knowledge you have nobody else you know there's a doctor but you know that the doctor's not gonna not gonna treat that that's for lack of if somebody's got a nose they can't breathe through this is i i i feel like the tower ain't the tower anymore. The tower is something different, and and I don't like it, and I don't think you like it, and I know ain't none of them like it. So I would like you to help them, please, so that they can go somewhere else and find maybe something that can help them, because I don't think it's here. You keep saying them you mean the people in the tower no no i mean you oh i don't i don't i you, i don't know anybody in that tower i don't they're 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 not who i'm concerned about i'm i'm worried about all y'all i don't i don't like what's happened to you i mean either. i mean I'm maybe not back her. my review i left in the guest book after we go back <laughs> i'm writing a bad review about you actually loretta I feel like we've got I'm... set up here if i can be real I would like to second that review. Re... Yes, it. Retweet. Re <laughs> and I know exactly what you mean. When you retweet something, you tweeter it out to the world. And you that, I think, it, is what you're you going for. You take it where you put it on one bird's leg and you send it out. Yes. You copy You put it on multiple bird's legs. Yes. And then multiple yes. tweets go out. Yes. Mm -hmm. Amen, sister. Thank you. You're what just, she like, said. Tied to a bunch of hawks' legs. Like, <laughs> I do not like Loretta. Tweet it. I We've do got not a ton like of hawks, person. Loretta. Right, we would be more effective with a kenku. They turn my But um, all right. So yes, we need help. Um, Harrison's constantly like like taking a little bit of dirt that he has like in his pocket, and, like trying to rub it on his fur to like get this crap off of him. Um, yeah, it's not going off. Yeah. Ugh. Um. Oh God, I had division. That's right. There was lightning strikes. And what did I see? 
constellations. I think I saw also constellations, but they were wrong. They were also incorrect. So, let me... let me get this straight. Mm. You all... you all saw constellations in the sky, in this place, and they were all wrong. Yes? yes. I didn't see and... shit! Yes, I wasn't well... asking you, Rude Young Lady. <laughs> I'm gonna go set more things on fire. <laughs> I wish you luck in your endeavors. <laughs> Thank you! And I walk off. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wait, Caspian, I need to, I, can you, will you be my... Will Absolutely! You, if she's gonna call you rude, we should really just set all of her house on fire, and we walk off together. <laughs> <laughs> I suggest... Well, well done, her. well done, Granny. <laughs> I suggest... I suggest you return, because you are not gonna last long in that state. Here's the it, thing. Here's the thing. I've seen this once before. It's not- You couldn't start with that? I'm sorry, what? We come in here, Blaze got- and you do this whole- and you said now you see it once before? I I'm just sure. saying she'd talk a lot more if we had a dagger in her calf. We don't need to do that. I close the door behind <laughs> us so we're all in the room. <laughs> and I say- uh, and I say also- um, there was a bunch of illusion magic going on while we were in there as well. I remember, mm -hmm. I cast detect magic. Well, we were mm. there. Illusion magic. And she is going to sort of take a moment and look at all of you and, and then say, I wish, I wish that this was an illusion. I wish I could tell you that this was all just in your heads. This, what's happening to you is not an illusion. This well, is I could have told you that. Okay, well done. Thank you. This is not an illusion. <laughs> she's just like she's 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 tolerating Castian right now. She's just like she's she's all right. <laughs> she also doesn't want Castian to, you know, she she's she sees her as a little bit sparkly. Um, <laughs> so so she says, I've seen it once. At the time, I didn't know what it was. I believe. I believe since that happened, since those people died, I've... A tome has come into my possession, and I believe that it may, if I am correct, it may describe what you're experiencing. If you wish, I can go find it. We wish. And, Where are we going? Well, I'm going through the door. Then we're coming with you. Are you? Yes. Have, yes. You? Have you seen these short <laughs> shorts? You can't keep me out. The, the 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 astrologer kind of looks at the short shorts, like takes a long searching look, and says, "I understand. Okay. If you're coming with us, you're coming with. Come, Loretta. You might as well see this too. Why does Loretta need to come? You'll see." I don't like seeing. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm not seeing shit till words are said of what I will see. I'd like spoiler -ers. You, You'd like a spoiler? I want to know I... what's going on. I'm tired of this mystery stuff. Last mystery stuff ended up with weird glittery stuff in my soul. So you'll forgive me for not trusting you for fucking all. Yes, I will forgive you. So now start talking, because had you started talking before, I wouldn't have glittery stuff in my soul, and now I do. And you want me to follow you somewhere, or you want to walk off somewhere on your own, and I'm supposed to trust you? You lost that trust, sister. So, where are we going? What's going on? Do you understand the word tome? I do. What is it? Damian it leans is. Over. I mean, I understand it. You didn't ask if I like, if I knew the meaning. If I could to take. <laughs> I've heard your tome of voice. You need to check your tome of voice. <laughs> Watching Granny try to be supportive is my favorite thing. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> the astrologer's just gonna shake her head and... <sighs> Remember, the astrologer deals with people like the arguing gay couple. <laughs> you know, she's... she's uh, She's seen she, it she's, before. <laughs> she's, seen, yeah. she's seen this sort of thing before. She's gonna say... Rude young lady. A tone Don't talk to a Granny. Her name is Granny. Granny. I wasn't speaking to you. I was speaking to that one. A tome is a book. I'm not called that one. Say my name. What is your name? That's right. You don't even know it. So how dare you assume that I'm rude if you don't even know my name, astrologer person? Do you know my name? I don't need to know your name. I didn't ask for your name. I didn't ask for gold and stardust on my soul. I didn't ask for any of this. I asked for a fight with the ocean that I was winning and for a fight with Big Hawk. And then you guys came along. Not you, Granny. And not you, Damien. Unless you want to start Thank stabbing you. people. You'll, you'll be fine. I'm you all came close. along. And now we're just running along with it. And I've run along with it for enough. I didn't want to go to the tower. I didn't want to talk to no one. I didn't want to bring the girl out of the tower. I didn't want to fight the girl. Well, I kind of wanted to fight the girl. Okay, that one's a little bit on me. So now, Castian's in charge. And now, my name's Castian, by the way. That was a spoiler alert. I definitely didn't mean <laughs> to say that, but I did mean to say that. Castian. Thank you. Can you read? Yes. Brilliant. Follow me. No, Check no, no, no. We just <laughs> talked about this. <laughs> As she follows. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, so uh, the astrologer is going to take all of you down into the basement. And uh, oh, what could go wrong? Yeah. No, it's <laughs> great. I trust this. What situation. could go wrong? <laughs> yeah. So the basement of the um. Of, uh, of this house, of this uh, astrologer's space, uh, looks like it does on the screen. Can everybody see the screen now? Ooh, yes. Oh, hold on. Should I be sharing oh. screen? Yes. Okay, yes. Let me get back to the map. Hold on. Okay, no worries. I enjoy how it looks. <laughs> the suspense. All right, we're good. Looks like our yeah. like, place we're going to die. Yeah, it definitely does, honestly. Yeah. But that's every place we go to, so... <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, we haven't had yeah. much luck so far. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you guys get to make the decisions. It's not me making the decisions here. So, um, so what you see in this in this space, you, you've just come down a like a rickety old wooden ladder. And what you see is a wooden basement. Well, not a wooden basement. Why did I say wooden basement? That makes no sense. <laughs> what? That makes literally no sense at all. What you see is a basement where there are wooden things. There are some wooden things. In front of you, there's a rock that seems to glow with a preternatural light. Um, just beyond it, there is a uh, an overstuffed bookshelf. Um, to your right, there is a corner with a torch, but the torch seems to be growing out of the ground, almost like a mushroom, Ooh. but not really like a mushroom. And then, um, like just beyond the, the glowing rock that's right in front of you, there's a strange little staircase to a raised platform. Uh, and, and at your vantage, you can't actually see what's on that platform. But it's it's sort of a, a, a strange wooden platform. Everything is almost a little bit Escher like. It's like like things things don't quite seem exactly to match up with what with the space that you might expect them to be in. Mm. But it's a space. Uh, this is you know the astrologer sort of marches in front of you. I actually don't have a token for her. Let's see here. Here's a token for the astrologer. There we are. This is the astrologer. She doesn't have a name. Um, <laughs> mm. And she is going to sort of march over to this bookcase and pull out a very, very large book. Damien is uh, behind the astrologer as well. She's pulling out this book. Castian yeah, is following Damon. Sure follow. Damon? 
Damien. Damien. <laughs> Sorry, did I cut out? I was probably like move it away from the mic. No, Damien. that's not a cut out. You got it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> got it wrong, sister. That's his nickname. <laughs> I mean, you can go to other places also if you would like to see other things in the basement. No, I'm watching this astrologer. Is this a Damien door has. over here on the right? It does look like it. Would I'm like going to that way. Because what could go wrong? I'm gonna follow Cassian to make sure. <laughs> Thank you. Is building down. Wow. I we're like how it. there's always a babysitter. <laughs> <laughs> so, in the doorway, you see what looks like a star field. It doesn't look like it's. It's not like constellations. It mo looks more like sort of a like a deep field, like you might like you might see, you know, in the context of your characters. Like you might see if you had a looking glass and you looked at a dark spot in the night sky. There's, there's sort of like swirling gases. There's, there's, uh, there's just you know there's stars sort of scattered. And it's it 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 looks almost as there as though as though there's like a like everything else disappears and there's just a star field right there. Come back to me. <laughs> I have Mischief many needs options. time. Exactly. I'm like, oh god, my brain is short short circuiting. This uh, the opportunity. Short shorts. Short short two to <laughs> exactly. I just want to make sure you're not burning anything down. <laughs> Can I chuck something in there? Maybe not bulwark, but something. <laughs> <laughs> sure. There's a couple of little like, you know, sort of little little pebbles on the ground. It's a Alright, I chuck them in. Okay. As you chuck it, as you chuck each one, they sort of bounce back at you. As if there's a force field or something preventing anything from, from going into this star field. They're not like, they don't like shoot back at you, but they just, they they sort of bounce back towards you as if, as if it's sort of a springy surface. I stick my staff top in, in there. Does it go in? No. Well, what the hell? It, it it feels a little bit yielding, but but it's 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 definitely a solid surface. But not a flammable surface. You see my problem. Alright, go back to the people come back to me. <laughs> I'll be over here plotting while while you guys are at the bookshelf. Hmm. What's in that book? Okay. Alright? We need some goddamn answers. Okay. So so uh, the uh, the astrologer sort of takes out this book. The book is enormous. It's it's probably eighteen inches by twenty four inches. It's 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 a very very large tome, and it's it's bound in what it, it's bound in in some kind of skin that looks like it's got tattoos on it. You have a sinking feeling it might be human skin, but you're not sure. Um. And um, yeah, and it's so it's it's bound in this it's bound in this kind of like potentially human parchment, um, and all of the pages are are also parchment. They look more like normal parchment, but you really can never be sure. And so, the astrologer kind of like holds it open with one large arm, kind of flips through it until she finds the right page, and she says, "This is not a problem with the stars." This is a problem with your souls. This is something that's happened to your soul. And okay. Also, Loretta's down here too. I should probably have a, a token for her. Uh, da, 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 da. Where is Loretta? Loretta can be. Loretta can be. Uh, the, like this little happy little person. So she's sort of <laughs> over here too. All right. So, so the, the astrologer is kind of, she, she sort of points at the page and, and she says, can any of you read Celestial or Infernal? I can read Infernal. I can read Celestial. Mm. And well, I'm then we're in here luck. too. There we go. Castine, you can read both. It's just trying to stick stuff in walls. <laughs> <laughs> nice. All right. So, so, uh. Oh, I can read the, it. 
Yeah. <laughs> I know a bunch of you can read Infernal. So so the astrologer is is going to um is gonna say Would you like to come up to the office? Can we just not read this down here? If you'd like. Please feel free. Okay. So yeah. she's gonna hand it she's gonna hand it, it to you. All right. All right. Please. But be very careful. Do not damage this book. Okay. Don't like the result. It's so I'm not going to damage your precious little book here. All right? And Damien's going to read and look for the answers that he is searching for so desperately right now. As, like, okay. beads of sweat are starting to come from his forehead. And he is very, very, very anxious and nervous for what Please he might find. hand to, like, dab the sweat with a little <laughs> Aww, That's so oh, thanks, supportive buddy. and lovely. It's all right, Damien. You've got this. I know. Inferno's really hard to read sometimes. Mm-hmm. All right, thanks for patronizing me as well as you're no, doing that. No, I mean that. I'm that's, just kidding. It's... I'm just kidding. Okay. okay. So, so in this book, th- this section of the book is written in two columns. Um, one is in Celestial and one is in Infernal. Um, I guess none of you can read both except for Castian, yes? Yeah. Wait. Uh, Harrison, can you read... Uh... I don't know what these other letters are. I'm gonna show it to the to the group. Does anybody know what these are? She said. Yeah. Oh, did she say celestial? Actually. Yeah. Hold one on. is one one side is in celestial and one side is in infernal. Oh, like, I know, you know what that side is. Okay. Like like to like to the players like that. Yeah. You remember like in like uh, like when you when you had to read Shakespeare in high school. Um. Sometimes there would be like a translation of like you know there would be like the the Shakespearean English the and then modernized. like the modernized. Oh yeah English. yeah yeah. Yeah. So it's like it's in it's in a two column format. Um. Much like that. Okay. And and because there's people in in the party who could read each. Um. You you know you can confer with each other and and discover that um that it is that both columns say approximately the same thing. Um, it does seem to be an accurate translation. Um, you aren't sure which which one was first. Um, okay. But, uh, except that um, in, uh, in Infernal, uh, the word for what is going on with you seems to be infection. But in Celestial, the, the, the term that's used seems to be astral rot. Both sound mm. terrible. Mm. Neither of these sound like it could be fixed with penicillin. <laughs> well, Astral rot. You could try. So uh, we we killed the penicillin at the tower. <laughs> oh, no, <laughs> fair. It is both astral rot and penicillin all in one. Oh no, the disease is its own oh, no. cure. Is its own disease. No, I'm joking. So. Um, <laughs> we've been infected right. with astral rot or an infection. Right. So, so this, so in this book, it tells of an infection or astral rot. Um, the author of the book, who is not identified in this section or on the cover of the book, you haven't seen the rest of the book. Um, this is the weirdest Dr. Zeus volume ever. <laughs> <laughs> I do not like this astral rot. I do not like it. No, I do not. Um, the, so the author doesn't, doesn't know, um, where it came from, they—they're very clear that it—it they—they they don't know what the origin of it is. Um, they speculate that it might have entered the world through a portal. Um, maybe it entered through some kind of you know wild magic or pocket dimension or something. Um, they speculate that perhaps it was a curse or if it was a blessing and it was turned into a curse. But but they note that that it doesn't seem to be good or evil. It doesn't seem to be trying to fix something it doesn't seem to be trying to destroy something it, it's it's like all life life finds a way and so it also seems to be just trying to spread just trying to just trying to uh to replicate itself to to sustain itself um so the book describes the symptoms of the astral rot um which is a slow and steady degra- degradation of of the body and the soul both um, bit by bit, little by little, over time. The course of the disease varies um, depending on who is suffering it, um, depending on a whole bunch of different factors. Um, and the author of the book specifies that they've known seven sufferers of this disease, um, or this infection, or this astral rot, or whatever it was. Um, and in each case, the course of the disease was different. Um, but in each case, 
the end was fatal. There, there were no survivors. In each case, um, the sufferer was annihilated, both body and soul. Does it say anything about a cure or like what to do or like if you're Depression. experiencing these symptoms, please call this number, you know, like, <laughs> is there anything you, in there about that? You or a loved one might be entitled to financial compensation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, no, the book's not trying to reach you about your car's extended warranty. Um, <laughs> or my boat's extended uh, warranty. <laughs> or your boat's extended warranty. Well, because you don't own it, dude. You have to own the boat to like, have an extended warranty on it. Facts. No, I get sent those all the time without owning yeah, anything. Okay. So. <laughs> okay. um, who is looking at the book right now? I think it was me and, me and the, the three people here who could read yeah. it, right? Yeah. Okay. For you all, it doesn't say anything about a cure. It just it's just a, a description of the disease. Okay. For you I look at, well I look at everybody and go, I do not believe it is a disease because it is affecting me. Wait. Right. I am immune to disease. <laughs> Wait, for then you're not you're not right there. Yeah I am. I'm reading the celestial part. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So, he was so reading it with were... me as I oh, showed it to yeah. everybody. Because I read oh. Celestial. So you're, you're... Yeah. Right. So Vrithelian. Oh. So oh, I sorry, lied, actually. Go. Sorry. Okay. Yeah. I was like, you're you're back. You can't be oh. reading this book. Okay. Sorry. I've got like five windows open. Okay. Oh, so, okay. Vrithelian. In fact, you do see something. Mm. When you look at the book, after you've finished reading all of this, you look at the book and the words seem to sort of shimmer. M much the same way as your eyes are shimmering and they change and then they reform into a language you've never actually seen before but somehow you can read somehow these strange letters that you've never that you don't recognize as any language that you've ever encountered ever anywhere somehow you can understand the meaning of them Canadian <laughs> <laughs> yes I am and here is what it says. Go not between the clouds that grace the sky with peaks of cotton white and slopes of gray. Go not between the trees that snarl and bite, nor west into the dying of the day. The east is where the fields are green and bright, where balm for souls is found in straw and hay. The east is where, upon the fall of night, the graves of stars their sea-bound lights betray. The fields of green will heal this bitter blight, but your true healing lies in starry gray. And I will read that out loud <laughs> as I'm reading it, so everyone that is with an earshot hears it. Castion, are you with? Well, I don't know. You, I am you, currently you wouldn't, you wouldn't beating anyway. this this thing <laughs> with my staff. It does not <laughs> move it. It's just your staff is going to start breaking pretty soon, babe. Yeah, what are you on bulwark? What's bulwark you're do, doing? You're doing great. Keep it up. Bulwark, <laughs> stick your hand in there. See if your hand comes back out. Like, see if you can. Your hand can go through there. I was with you until the second part of that sentence. <laughs> <laughs> Fine then, and I hate that I do this. I stick my <laughs> hand through the stupid thing if it'll go. You just kind of punch it. Okay, I'm so relieved as a player. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and your hand is completely eaten off immediately. No yeah. hand. No, you're hit. You're basically it, 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 it feels as though you've you've hit like a moss covered rock. Like you're, you're not, you haven't hurt yourself. Like there's enough of a, a spongy sort of like surface that that you're not gonna, it's not gonna kill you, it's not gonna hurt you, but um, it's got a little bit of give, but but that's, the the, the star field is, is just there, it's it, either it's beyond there, or it's an illusion, or whatever it is, but but you can't get there. Stick hey, mean lady! Nobody turns around to look at you, because nobody identifies themselves this way. I chuck saying. what, I'm gonna try an athletic show, I chuck one of the rocks that I was throwing into there, or trying to throw into there, I chuck it at, um, our astrologer. Like, that's like 
extremely far. Why don't I'm you going try to for make it. Me, I'm going for it. Try to make it. me an athletics check, please. Oh, make me a very it's high a DC. Two. It's a two. <laughs> <laughs> Glass and feet in front of you. <laughs> you're you're our like bulwark in the face. Yeah. Accident. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> no, it's not a one. But you like whiff this thing. You basically, it's like you know when you try to like like throw a ball and and it like th the the eagle is just right for you to like try to throw it and it drops on the ground in front of you. That's what <laughs> happens to you right now. Yeah. Then and you're and you're sad about it. Fine. I'm not gonna, gonna listen to me. And I'm gonna climb up the edge of this little walkway, and I'm gonna go investigate okay. over here, because there's okay. a lot of things on the ground. Did I'm gonna run? keep following her to make sure nothing catches on fire. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I like that it's not. I'm gonna follow her for her safety. It's like I need to make sure <laughs> that we don't have. To it's call for the our, fire safety. our safety. Our <laughs> safety. Mm -hmm. Um. So, uh, it, why don't you roll me investigation? Okay. Hold on. I'm. Because my rolls have been going so great so far. <laughs> Let's swimming. do the negative one. That's a 12. Uh, Ten. okay. Yeah! Right, so, so, you resolutely C+. Plus. Um, so... Passing. <laughs> yes. So you see, um, this is, this, this looks like sort of an office area. Um, you see, uh, to the, to the, the north wall, there's, there's like a desk. It's got, um, it's got books, like a little mini bookshelf built into it on the right. And on the left, there's like a little bench that that seems to be, and then like that seems to be where where the astrology would sit. Um, and then there's there's like a little writing pad, um, like like not not a thing to write in, but but like sort of a leather pad to write on. Um, like See on a MacBook Pro. <laughs> yeah. No, that's that's me, the DM. I'm the one who literally bought a new MacBook Pro to run this stream so that I could actually do it properly. Um, but yes, it is it is the the uh, the Dungeons and Dragons equivalent of a MacBook Pro. Um, <laughs> Grab and it. And then to to your left, sort of in the corner, there's there's a point of light that just sort of seems to be hanging in the in the air. Like it, it doesn't really seem to be coming from anything. It's not fire. It's just light. Um, and then there's a shrine with some with sort of some weird weird stuff on it. Um, I walk past the shrine because I want to go see the light. I'm sure that okay. won't work. That won't end badly at all. Uh, the light is the light is just above the shrine. It seems almost to be like like uh, shining down on it. Um, if you if you look at like the shrine is is up in the the top left corner. Okay. And. Um, yeah, and the light is just you can uh, you can invest the light is it's it's like a point of light. It looks almost like one of a dancing lights like trio or foursome or whatever, um, and just sort of it seems to be kind of hanging in the air, minding its own lighty business, not <laughs> doing much other than making your pants sparkle a little bit or sorry your short shorts. I um, go to poke it with my staff. Okay. Because I'm just apparently going to lose my staff this episode, I'm sure. <laughs> Is that what you want? No, you want I just don't have anything else to poke with. <laughs> That's fair. All right, you poke, it at, well, you poke it with your staff, and it sort of bobs in the air a little bit, and it goes... Do you and then just talk sort of goes to sounds? I say to the light. It doesn't respond. Bulwark, did you hear talking? It's like a squeak. <laughs> can you can you squeak? I don't, it doesn't say we, anything. You didn't poke it. Oh no, I'm talking to Bulwark. <laughs> I like oh, my arms okay. kind of squeak sometimes. <laughs> can you squeak your arm at it? I gonna try to like flex kinda, of, but like try to get my arm to squeak. <laughs> like do like a little <laughs> armpit part, but it's like a squeak, yeah. <laughs> and it's bulwark. <laughs> All right, please, please do me a performance check. <laughs> hey, hey, yeah. I is the only person in the party with negative charisma. I think. <laughs> <laughs> no. Eleven. That sucks. <laughs> you kind of get like a little, a little metallic kind of creak out. You're like, <laughs> but but the light doesn't do anything. It just sort of is hanging there. Um. And yeah, I mean, it's. I, I will. I will give you a hint. All the light does is, if you poke it, it squeaks. It, it is not. It is not special in any way other than squeaking when you poke it. 
it's surprisingly, a- and this will shock all of you, to be absolutely obnoxious, Castian is just <laughs> going to start playing music by poking this and squeaking it. It only has one note, so it's just going to go... Oh, yeah, it's just the same. It's like... <laughs> She's just having a blast. I think after five seconds of that, uh, the look is going to be like, Oh, Cassian, do you want to see something really, really cool? <laughs> yes. It's like entertaining uh, an iPad kid. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to pull out my... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get my bag of holding. I'm going to pull out... It's. It looks like a big ball of metal. And I'm going to push a button. It's going to expand into a big uh, clockwork cat. <laughs> that is roughly double the size of uh, a normal cat. I would say this is uh, this is this this little critter's name Scrap. A little critter's name Scrap. Uh, now, if you wind up her tail, she'll walk around and meow. Do you want to try that? Yes. All right. Here you go. <laughs> Bulwark is such a good dad. <laughs> I love we can now Bulwark. take Cash into a restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> oh, maybe they'll let her back at the daycare. Oh, yeah. oh, uh, and I will Not say after that those in- fires. <laughs> <laughs> instead of a regular like meowing, it is just the sound of Bulwark going meow. <laughs> meow. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> Oh my god, right, I want Cassian's one entertained. We can go on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but book crew or tome crew, uh, how are y'all feeling about this uh, about this sonnet that you've just I, heard? I look at what Damien. What do you mean, Fathalian? Explain the, it again. The, well, clearly, <laughs> it speaks of a cure to the east. We must travel. Um, so your question was, is there a cure? The yes. book has given us the answer. Yes, but why is it only showing up in the celestial side, and why wasn't it translated into Infernal? Because Infernal doesn't show up anything of the like, right, uh, Gio? No. no, but it's also not in Celestial. It's This is only for Vrithelian's... Uh, oh, that's right, you said Vrithelian. it's like... A- but actually, if you say, why is it only showing up in Celestial, I would look at you and be like, it is not. I do not recognize this language, and yet I am able to speak it. Oh. Spooky. We should. You say that. So like, ah. <laughs> I look to the astrol. I look to the astrologer. Do you know what this language is that I am reading? Or well, what? Well, there's, there's celestial and there's infernal, and I, I, the, I thought my eyes have been affected mm-hmm. by the astral rot. Perhaps it is allowing me to see something different. Are you saying we could by chance use these curses as gifts to find a cure? The cur- if that is the case, this curse has very well just given us the answer to a cure. Or at the very least, a lead. Yes. Damien rubs his hair on the book. <laughs> come, on, <laughs> come on, tell me what you know, baby! <laughs> Damien just always has product in now. Yeah. See? Yeah. Always <laughs> have <laughs> awesome hair. So like, yeah. yeah, it's just this majestic, yeah, beautiful hair. <laughs> Uh, you know, Damien, honestly, you do always have majestic, beautiful hair because nice. the sheen is, it, it's actually, the thing is, this is, it's actually quite beautiful. Like it's called astral lorot in, in celestial and it's called an infection in, in infernal, but, but it is, it is very beautiful. It does make your, you know, Castian, you know, it makes Castian's like everything about her sort of glow and gleam and, and Damien, it, it, it gives you hair that, that would, that would, uh, that, that would make anyone in all of Faerun jealous. It's, it makes your hair just like, it, it seems to glow and shimmer in any kind of light, and even in the dark. Um, and for Thelian, your eyes are now like, they're, they're, they've got a pearlescent sheen. Like this is, this is beautiful. Of course, for all of you, it's probably very traumatizing and you don't <laughs> want it on you. But Damien, maybe you can get used to having hair like that, huh? Um, but, uh, Unfortunately, rubbing this product on the book doesn't doesn't uh, let you read what uh, Vrithelian has read. This will come in important later on. I rolled a perception check. It's a 23. We'll come back to that. Go on. I was about to say, oh. I don't like the fact that somebody just rolled a random perception check. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, I, didn't, I didn't tell you you could roll a perception <laughs> check, young lady. Uh, <laughs> I'll explain look, it in a second. I look to the astrologer. Okay. Does, does any of this 
mean anything to you, what I have read? I mean, I've never seen it in the book, but... I will say... I will say the stars have been strange. They have... There's no better way to put it. They've been strange. They've been... Normally, they, they tell me what I ask of them. Lately, they've been telling me things I did not ask of them. They've been difficult to... Difficult to harness. I... I wish I could help you more, but... Listening to the book is as good a chance as any, I think. We need to... We need to copy this down. Can we just keep this book, actually? <laughs> no. And Damien, no. uh, can I roll a persuasion check? On that? <laughs> sure. Right. Oh, come on, come, come on. 22. Jesus. You can keep the book. All right, fine. <laughs> <Hot dog. laughs> the, uh, the astrologer sort of looks and says, I suppose you, you suppose you need it more than I do at this point. It's, we will take care of it. I believe you. Frankly, if you don't, it's it's your necks on the line, not mine. Don't worry, I have an extra book holster right over here. Right on Why did I think it was going to be? Uh, don't worry, I have an extra, an extra book holster. <laughs> not just one book holster, but like an additional book holster in addition to the original book holster. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. Oh, like, you're uh, amazing, uh, Granny. Oh my God, this is why I love you. Thank you. So very much. And Damien's going to close the book. We'll read right. this later again. Um, thank you, astrologer. Thank you, Jesus. If you're here, amen. Goodbye. I think we should go, guys. And, and let's get out of here, all right? The the astrologer is... So I guess Loretta is going to look at the astrologer and say, Are you sure, you're, you sure you want to give them that? Because that, I know how long that took you to get. And the astrologer is going to look at her and say... They're sick. They need help. And I don't want it on my head if they can't get it. And then, Castian, please tell me what you rolled perception about. I will actually come back to that probably next episode. I'll tell you off stream what I'm planning. Oh. Um, oh. Okay. That's it bad was, for all of us. <laughs> it was actually going to take part, but something has just changed some things, so we'll, we'll come back to oh. it. Oh. Um, but I would like to go I cost. <laughs> I would like to go accost the uh, the astrologist lady anyway. You're gonna accost her verbally. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, what would you like to say to the astrologer lady? What's up with your squeak light and your weird wall to nowhere? Well, isn't the light fun? <laughs> I like it. It's fun. I enjoy it. You're avoiding the question. That's what's up with it. I like it. It's fun. It's cute. Where'd Don't you get it? It's cute. I made it. From... Magic. Oh, fine. Flex on me, then. What about your weird wall? Oh, that's just... Don't worry about that. It's not a portal. It's just a... That's exactly just... what somebody who has a portal would say. I've known at least seven people with a portal, and almost all of them have started with it's not a portal, or don't worry about the portal, or Casting, why are you in my house? <laughs> I, I could ask all three of those things of you, I would say. Um, if I may be frank, that's I, not a portal. That's your name, then. Frank it is. The astrologer's name is now Frank. Congratulations. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> <laughs> All right, Frank, take it away. That's not a portal is also something that somebody who does not have a portal would say. I see you trying to do the brain trickery on me, but it's I'm not, not brain... falling for it. It's not brain trickery. It's just function functioning of brain of my brain and then Loretta sort of says you know Castian I know you love those shorts I think I've got a crop top somewhere if you if you want to I cannot for your crop 
of top. I care only for the shortest of shorts. What is the wall? It's a wall with a picture of some... Oh, that's not a some... picture. You can sort of start sticking your staff through it. <laughs> I mean, And I've stuck my staff through at least 12 pictures. 12 and a half. That really depends on like some situational situ things there. But at least 12. And now was one of them, one of them Was one of them at the cliff's edge? Because... There is one very ripped painting at my bar. That was I want to know if you did that. For no. The one of the dog. And the Why other Why would I heard a puppy picture? No, no, it's just a picture. It's not an actual dog. But it's a puppy picture. Why would I heard a puppy picture? Well, I don't know. I Why see would you, you trying to, to frame me from things, but I'm not falling for your framing. What is the wall? Well, I don't know. It's not in my house. And the astrologer is just going to say, Loretta. She's going to look at you, Acastian, and say, It's not a wall, but it's also not a portal. I don't know that you would understand exactly what it is. It's not quite an illusion. It's not quite not an illusion. But what I can tell you is that it is not somewhere where you can go. It's not somewhere you want to go, especially in your condition. Why do you now, like keeping I, secrets? I don't like keeping secrets. And really, it's, it's like not a pulling nails out of a wall with a lot of holes in it, but not the holes in the wall part to try and get answers from you. I've just given you the answer. What? It is not. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Harrison needs to just like start <laughs> stuffing his ears into his head oh, and casting. Oh my god! <laughs> hey, Cassian, speaking of secrets, we we figured out the book thing. Vithelian can read uh, words between words. Kind of fucking crazy. We got the book. Granny has it. So uh, whenever you're ready. Castian, would you like to try to read it? No. No? Okay. No. Okay. That's up to you. But I well, cast in, we do have the book, so if you change your mind, it will be there for you to look at. That is true. I have given you the book as a gift. Inside I check. For it. I, I want to just vibe check uh, both Loretta and the lady around here. Mm. Frank. Okay. Frank. A, so, okay, yeah, Frank. Frank the Frank the female astrologer. Got it. Yeah, well, Frank I guess definitely the, the did not give that as a gift. Sometimes female astrologer. That's true. I I got a dirty twenty and a twelve. I'll let you decide which goes to which person. Um, all right. So um, I'll I'll give you the dirty twenty for the uh for for uh, Frank. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, um, you can tell that that she didn't she didn't really want to give you the book, but she did give you the book. Well, your party, the book, and she's not like super mad about it. Um, she she genuinely wants you to get better, and she genuinely believes that you need the book more than she does. She just paid some money for it, and kind of <laughs> slightly annoyed, but you know, whatever. Um, <laughs> and Loretta, you just you know what, what you what can but you can tell of, of Loretta is that she's she she, she thinks that you ripped her painting. <laughs> she's not that, but she's not that mad about it because she she understands she understands that you are who you are and she actually kind of likes it because it makes her life a little more interesting but she just wants everybody to get upstairs and, and she kind of wants you guys to, to leave town both because she maybe needs a little bit of break and she also she wants you to get better so neither of them seem to have ill intent no and neither of them can read minds. No. Then I will read the book. Okay. And the perception, just so you know, uh, the perception was I, I was listening in from up there uh -huh. and pretending to be busy. But go on. Okay. I'll read the book now. So when you look at the book, you see the exact same thing as Verthelion did. You see the words swim and shimmer and change. 
and then reform into a language that you don't understand, you don't know that, like you've never seen, you don't recognize it even as a language that, that you've ever encountered ever, um, even in all of your years of study. Um, but you can read it, strangely enough. And that same sonnet is there for you as it was for Rithelian. And I can reread the sonnet if you'd like. We've only got five minutes left, so I can... No, you're I, fine. You can put it like... in chat, and I can analyze it later. I was just yeah. cur mainly curious yeah. if Verthelion's eyes were cursed to make him see some different type of cure that isn't actually the cure. It's a good verification. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That is very good verification. Um, cure. So Cassian's so I... dumb as shit, but also not. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I might be Cass dumb, but I'm not stupid, you know? Exactly. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> And so, yeah, Castian sees the exact same uh, the exact same uh, poem as uh, Verthelian, as Verthelian saw, um, and uh, yeah, and so that's what Castian sees. What do you see, Cass? What do my elf eyes see? You mean? Oh, sorry, <laughs> 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 it was right there. I see words, and I see it's about time to go. So it's been lovely. Well, that's a lie. It's been talking to you two, and I would like to leave now. Please never talk to me again, either of you. And I storm out. Start climbing up the ladder. <laughs> hey, the hey, 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 wait, 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 wait. The book needs to go with Granny. I trust Granny. Granny can have the book. Oh, thank she you. She has a holster for it. Kind of cool, actually. Mm -hmm. <laughs> More than one book holster. <laughs> <laughs> She's double holstered up, baby. <laughs> Right. Yeah. Then so you, I'm leaving too. <laughs> okay. So so you all go up the ladder out of the basement. Um and uh, uh Frank and Loretta <laughs> follow you. Um and uh and and as you as you're, you know, back in the astrologer's uh, the astrologer's office, the Frank, you know, looks at you casting and says, "Well, it's been I wish you well." And Loretta I says, don't even have a well. Well, perhaps you'll find one in your travels. I just glare. <laughs> Loretta says, Y'all, I'll be sad to see you go, but I gotta say, I think you better, you better make haste, because cause if, I don't think this thing's getting any better. And, and, and I gotta admit, I'm, I'm kind of fond of y'all. I don't I don't want to see you die or get get sick or whatever. So how about I how about I walk you to the best road out of town? If you're going east, I know exactly where I'll I'll tell you where to go and I'll tell you where to stop on the way where I'll keep you safe. All right? That would be great. Thank yes. you. Okay. And also while we're heading east, um Vithelian, Yes. Where east is kind of a broad It mentioned the sonnet mentioned a sea, right? Eventually, yes. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure what kind of check that is, but would I know what types of large seas, or or have I seen any, or in my numerous Faerunian travels? Um, how about uh, how about an Arcana check or a lore check or something like that? History. History check. There you go. I'll give you the help action. Oh, thank you. I would like to suggest that we head uh, to the sea. Go ahead. Thirteen. Thirteen. Okay. You're vaguely aware that, you know, in the geography of Faerun, um, there are some inland seas um, to your east, because, you know, if you're on the Sword Coast, then you sort of go overland, and uh, and you are aware that there that there are some, some large lakes and inland seas uh, to your east eventually. Mm. What? It is quite a journey, but yes, there is a large sea that we could move towards. Well, I, it seems that's where we should start our journey, and maybe we'll find more answers along the way. To the boat! Which, which way, yeah, I was going to say, which way is the boat and the hawk the that dropped the shoe? The boat's west, isn't it? That's west. It's oh, the boat's west? Okay. We're going the opposite yeah. way of the boat. Uh, We're going the opposite okay. way to the boat. You, you, your, your boat ain't coming with you. <clears throat> ah, that's so sad. Damien cries a little. 
Yeah, wow. Listen, it's it's honestly you could probably return it as part of your lease agreement and get you know something on the other side when we get there. I don't want to talk about it anymore. Buddy. <laughs> <laughs> honestly, I, I'm kind of just tired at this point. I, if my boat's not here when we get back, I'm I'm gonna have a problem. <laughs> More than one. And with that boat drama, <laughs> I love starting and ending. An episode of boat drama. <laughs> boat, <laughs> boat drama. Boat drama. Yeah, and with with that uh, with with uh, Damien's disappointment that he will not get to uh, sail into the sunset on his leased boat, uh, <laughs> you all follow Loretta into the opposite of the sunset, east, on the way out of town, and that is where we end for this evening. Woo! Guys, make sure if you haven't already to subscribe to the channel so you know you can hit the bell icon so that you get alerted to when we go live. You can also join the Discord in case anything goes wonky with the bell alerts. Thank you for tuning in today and we will see you next.